For anyone that's new, um, my name is Deb Purcell. This is my husband, Rick. And um, do you like to yeah. start? Hello, everybody. Um, so what, what I do, um, I'm the healer and Deb actually, if I scan people, she gets the message of what's going on with the person. Um, anything else? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. It's yeah, my husband merged his uh, uh, source, God, creator, whatever name you give him, merged with my husband. It's white light merged with my husband, and uh, uh, he became a healer. And uh, the information is then downloaded to me. So the energy comes from my husband, and the information comes to me. I get. To, I actually see the inside of your body and what creator's energy is doing to you. Um, we also get past life information and um, uh, other information. What well, we do with animals too. Yes, we heal animals uh, and uh, we channel. I channeled the information from God to or, you. Or uh, whoever comes through. Your yeah. past lives come to us. Uh, uh, we also heal future events. So we know what's happened to you from the past, present, and future uh, healing information. Um, and that's it, I think. We also know if somebody's lying to us. Yeah. So we do that as well. Any deception, yeah. Yeah, any deception that's going on. And then we have Bill, who is... Uh, Shall I carry on? <laughs> yes, I know. His takes longer than ours. Ours is pretty brief. <laughs> uh, I started hearing uh, pets when I was about four. I thought everyone could do that naturally. I also could change weather by doing angelic tongue when I was a little child. When I was a child, but everyone thought I had some, something wrong with my brain, and uh, I had to I had to stop doing that. Not a uh, feeling, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was healing. To, anyone who wanted healing up to 20 years ago and then 20 years ago I went to college got accredited healing uh, certificate and I've been doing voluntary healing at two uh, centres uh, for the last 20, 20 years I'm connected to uh, some of my past aspects which is Raphael Merlin uh, Hermes from uh, Atlantis and also uh, uh, I'm, I've got an, an, well, not, an a crystalline source energy peak that I've only just connected this year. So any knowledge I need, any new new ways of healing, I, uh, I we have like a meeting and uh, I find new ways. Uh, and it's, like recently, I've been adding crystal source energy to uh, cells in the body to rejuvenate them, and it, it seems to work on three of them. So. Uh, any healing is, is worth it. The, the thing with, I tell healers is nothing's impossible. As soon as you think it's impossible, you will be blocking it. So that's my my journey so far. I'm, I also, uh, I've also started my Oracle card readings, which is uh, a new one for me, which I used to do as a child. So if when you, you start that? Get... Hmm? <coughs> when did you start doing that? Ah, there you go. Interrupted by David, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I started doing it this year, but I used to do it as a child. Uh, these are angelic oracle that I've had uh, for 25 years. I also do tarot cards, but I've, I've just started going back into them because when I was younger, I didn't want to know the future. But you can actually use cards as like tools. So you can actually use them for healing and stuff like that. They're not dark, nothing wrong with it. It's the person who's using it that the energy is coming from. So, is that a new one then, David? <laughs> yeah, I want to read it. <laughs> I'll do it you, should, uh, you should do it on the Divine Ray. You should do, um, mm. offer tarot readings on the Divine Ray. Healing, that'd be awesome. Okay. I got some new ones right there. Oh, uh. while we're doing healing, while Phil, Rick and I are doing healing, um, if, you, if you could wait, anybody that uh, would like to add any information for anyone if you could wait until we are um done with our uh rick, phil and rick and i are done completely uh before you add any input please 
um, if I, if there's any attachments and I go quiet, uh, if you could also wait, uh, that we, I, I usually am talking telepathically to the attachment. If, if I go quiet, that's, that's what I'm doing. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm complete or I'm done. Um, if you start speaking while I'm quiet, you'd throw me off and I lose my concentration. So Maybe if uh, they complete when you're done, you know. What we'll do is we'll actually say, is there anybody, anybody wants to add to this, this healing event? And then uh, you can just do it in turns then, yeah. Yeah, so please try not to interrupt. Um, I would really, really appreciate it because it really does throw off all my concentration. I lose my, um, my concentration. I forget what I'm doing and then I have to try and ask Father to repeat everything. And it just throws me off. I, I would re really, really appreciate it. I have the video I film as well, so I'll do that next time. Okay. Your wife's home. His wife's home. That's his wife, right? Pardon? Yeah. That's his wife home? Yeah. From the last healing, remember? Yes. Oh, I think that's so good. I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start with Jackie. All right. I'll move out of the way. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Hi. Good to see you. And you. You both. Thank you. What would you like? Do you want me to speak? No. Yeah. No, 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 you. What do you actually want? I'm sorry. I, I should have. Yeah. No, yeah. That's, that's fine. We know that, we, that you need a healing. Yeah. And, um, Bill, you need to stop talking so I can see Jackie. <laughs> Jackie, now I need you to talk. <laughs> Be quiet. That <laughs> <laughs> huh. was being funny. <laughs> okay. Jack, Jackie, do you want healing now? Is it, can you tell me exactly what you, what you need? Um, well, I've just come out of hospital. I've been there for six weeks and I came out yesterday. Um, they found some um, abnormalities, further abnormalities. I've got liver problems anyway, but they found things going on. Um, I have bad asthma at the moment uh, that's doubled since being in hospital because it's very claustrophobic. But it started off when we had subsidence in the house for a year and all the ceilings were coming down and that's when I started to develop asthma but I've got uh, something in my pelvis and something on my right ovary that they're investigating. I've had all the scans and decided while they're doing further investigations um, is to come home to pull because that's what I used. That's it. Exactly. Uh, do, do you mind me asking if you had a, a vaccine or not? I've, just got I've been waiting for my second one. Right, and I'm, I've only been tested at the hospital about four or five times, but th that's all okay. Thank right. goodness. So that's okay. there's no problem with that on that side of things. Okay. I'm still waiting for the second jab, but I haven't been able to have it done. Right. Okay, that's fine. So uh, I'll send you some healing. You, if you let us know what you can feel, I'm healing two parts, so uh, it might take a few minutes, and Deb can do a bit if that's okay. Yeah? Right. So, Thank you. Okay.
His uh, father has healed your ovary. Ovary, just it's a mess. Well, just saying, I've done that. Oh. Some of this experience you asked to have while you were here. Did yeah. you hear me? Yeah. Sorry. Asked. Before Somebody. you incarnated here, some of these experiences, the illness that you had in the hospital, you asked to experience while you were here. I believe I told you this, Paul. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Yeah. It was horrific. I know. I know. I know. and everything. It was awful. I know. Being stuck in there. Um, and thinking I was able to leave the hospital of my own free will when I wasn't. And it was a, a, a horrible experience. But, you know, you have to do these things. And I sort of all of a sudden overcame all the negativity. And I thought, I'm not, I can't do this to myself any longer. It's ridiculous. So I just sort of let everything sweep over my head and I'm more positive, even though I'm still ill, um, I feel okay about things. Whether it goes good or bad, I'm all right about it. Yeah. Like, you have to have this experience for a reason. Now, you, now it's time for you to release the experience. And the reason you need to release it is so that you get you you release the illness. So by you releasing the experience, the illness goes away. Do you do I tell you? I yeah, I'm just thinking. Of course, I, I understand, but how would I? Uh, in principle, I completely understand everything you've said. But how would I actually be able to do that? You know, picture. Energy that's green is healing energy. You know that you're an angel, correct? My fa favorite color is green. <laughs> well, that's a healing energy. So by by picturing the inside of your body all green, going green inside, all inside, healing everything inside, all your organs. And then picture your heart, this white crystalline energy going inside your heart muscle. So, and then that energy is going to turn molten gold every time your heart beats. When your heart beats, that golden energy is going to go through every vessel in your body. It's going to pump golden energy into all your veins. Every time your heart beats, golden energy is going to go through every vein in your body and it's going to heal every organ in your body. That's going to happen for six days. So every time your heart beats, it's healing every, every part of your body going into your head. It's doing it right now. That's what, that's what God's doing to you right now. I can see it. And you're yes. going to feel it. You you're going to feel a warmth going through your body right now. Because I'm seeing it happening right now. You're going to feel this warmth. Something. Since I've been in hospital, I've actually felt quite religious, <laughs> which I normally wouldn't be like at all. You don't want to be religious. You want to be spiritual. Spirit or spiritual. Then. Religion is man-made. Sp yeah. Spirituality Me is... <laughs> it's a, what's the word? Feel, um, you you want to feel renewed. Yes. Renewed. Yeah. There you go. 
So I want you to feel this warmth going through your body right now because that's what's happening to you. So the gold into my the body. Golden, oh. The golden energy is going through your body right now. Every time your heart is beating, it's pushing through this beautiful golden energy that's healing. It's going through your lungs. It's going through everything right now. You can see it. That energy, your, your whole torso is filled with green energy and the molten gold is going through your bloodstream, through your arteries right now. And once it gets to the crown of your head, after it's hit every bone, every body, through your bones, through your arteries, and it's coming out through your crown chakra and all your outer layers of your body and all your chakras are being aligned. It's it's healing even the outside, within six feet around you. You're, you have the causal body. You understand what I'm saying, Paul? Yep, I do. May, may I ask a question at that point? Um, sure. So even if this was a um, pre-incarnation um, experience that Jackie wanted, are you saying that um, this can still be released and healed? She's and, had the, Father's saying she's had the experience, now it's time to heal. Okay. She's an angel. Is it my experience? Is it my go yet? That, uh, Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm an angel. Yes, I know you're an angel, <laughs> darling. Uh, what what was giving you the asthma is some is the house and the energy's changing the house. So that's the start. So the asthma, uh, that coughing, by the way, is coughing negativity out. So while you were coughing and having healing, negativity was was coming out of you. The other thing is, you said you haven't you had a lot of problems in hospital. Hospital, yes. Sorry. I and you, st you still remember it. You said everything yeah. went away. You still remember it. You just got a letter. I didn't remember. Out. I just yeah. it just went. Yeah. I, just, I can't just, deal with it. Yeah. S send the hospital love and just say that was the experience. I'm not having that experience again. I've done it. I've actually done yeah. it already. That's excellent. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry. I wanted to ask you a question about the inside of our house now. Um, if at this juncture, which if you looked into it, would you say that there is um, something different now, particularly in um, the bedroom area? There's a change from last time, but there is some uh, old energy in the house. I think right. that's causing the asthma. So the old energy right. needs to be refreshed. How old's the building? I know I, I can see the beans, so I, don't, I, I, I know it's quite old, but how old is it? Well, it's in two parts. The oldest part was about 1930. Yeah. And a new part was added Eight, in the 80s. In the 80s. Um, yeah. But I've been trying to put uh, um, a sort of uh, light structure within the bedroom area. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I've successful with that. <laughs> Sometimes when you change a building, you do get uh, old energies coming out. So well, we did. Uh, problems mm -hmm. with it in the past. We had a lot of um, um, activity in the house uh, yeah. as well from uh, to various entities and <laughs> all sorts of things were going on. Mm -hmm. So we had quite a lot going on. Um, my daughters experienced a lot. Um, they were very sensitive to it. So, um, but Jackie's father cleared a lot of it out for us, actually. He's very mm -hmm. psychic. He um, was. So we felt it was cleared out mostly. It was, it was a clear thing. No, it is, it's, I think it's completely clear now. Don't and I've been, well, we've been meditating in it for 20 years, so that should have mm. done something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jackie, do you want an oracle card for guidance? On, okay. Yeah. Thank tell, you. The, tell us when to stop and I'll pick the next one. You got to stop. Hey. <laughs> That's your card. I can't, I can't quite see it, Bill. What, what's it? Surrender and release. Surrender and release, which uh, you said you've done it, but I think yeah. you need to do more. 
I think yes. so. Say, say that again, Phil. It's a what? Surrender and release. Surrender and release. Surrender and release. Stop oh, hanging on. You're still hanging on to your worries. You need to let them go. You're still worrying about things. You just got to let it all go. I know you said you have, but not all of it. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, not completely. Yeah. I mean, so not so no, if, no. if you let it all go, the healing will improve. Okay. Thank so you. you are actually blocking the healing by not surrendering, letting it all go. I, by worrying I, about it too much. Uh, I think I worry when I cough because um, I feel I can't breathe and then mm. I go into the panic attack. Yeah. That's why, you know, mm. it gets just get the coughing gets worse and worse. I mean, Paul's seen it for himself mm. uh, about, um, half an hour ago. Mm. Yeah. That's anxiety. Yes, yeah. it was anxiety. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I'm listening to what you've said, and I would, you know, hate it and do my best to get rid of it all. Mm. Does she have any attachments? I'm asking Kyla, does she have attachments? I think she's got <laughs> attachments. I, I, I think she's got one from the hospital, by the way. I just said that. <laughs> just, just, just. <laughs> attachment. You have an attachment. Oh. And I, attachment. You've got uh, an attachment. What is the nature of the attachment? I don't um, think it's a bad one. A hospital. Hmm? I think it's a soul that was uh, at yeah, the hospital. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. It was hiding really well. It jumped off, it's back, and it jumped back on. <laughs> That's what I saw. I, I saw something behind you, and then it wasn't there. And and uh, it, because I was, just, I was like, "There's something there," but then it was gone. It's a nice person. I know it's not person. I know it's nice soul. So it's, yeah. a, it's well, a, it's, it, it's a lost soul. But I saw it behind you, and then it wasn't there, and it wasn't on your body. But this attachment's really shady. Mm. So it jumped off of you. And I kept seeing something behind you. And I'm like, well, where, where did it go? You have an attachment that doesn't want me to find, didn't want us to find it. He didn't, didn't want to stay at the hospital. It's usually as like a, an instrument to get out of the hospital, basically. Uh, has your coughing got worse since you've been at home? Yes. I think it's linked to this attachment, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it has got worse. Yeah. This person it, uh, died when I was at the hospital. Yeah. When I was at the hospital, I was worried to wake, be waking up the other patients in the ward because it would get worse, probably at night time. And I couldn't sleep anyway then. I've hardly slept for six weeks. Yeah, and last night, the first night I came yeah. home, I managed to put her on and off about three hours, two to three hours, but broken up by going to the loo and stuff. Mm. This coffin is not really yours, it's his. It's the attachments. Yeah. You're picking up what he had in life. <laughs> yep. And well, I, I think I'll send I'll send love to the attachment and Deb can you and Rick, can you send it on then? Yeah. I'll send it love to break down its barrier. That's what it's got a barrier. Okay. What should I do that? No. Oh, no. Relax. J just say uh, it was nice knowing you. Can you go now to the light, please? In your mind. <laughs> His name's Harold. Oh, great. Harold? Yep. Okay. Harold. For your day, I think. Go into the light now. Thank you. Yeah, he died of lung cancer. Hmm. Okay.
All right, Jesus is going to <gasps> Jesus is going to help me. He's going to take him to the light, and we're talking to Harold. We're explaining that he has a God spark. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> He's releasing his hold. He's going to the light. You should feel a release in your respiratory system and your lungs. Yes, I can feel it lighter than it was. I can feel it lighter. I can see Ariel taking, I think it's Ariel or Ennial. Yeah. Uh, taking the spirit. The spirit just needs a bit of uh, help. So I actually uh, sent the uh, that event I did, uh, I was at last week about the uh, singing bowls or crystal bowls. I actually showed the spirit of the bowls and it. it he was just scared to go on. Okay. Now we're just go on. in that area where he was and just to a feeling just for the areas, the respiratory area. feeling? I feel, my chest feels lighter. Yeah. It doesn't feel so like I keep wanting to cough all the time, all the time, all the time, and go into a panic. It feels lighter. All right, so and you still got that golden energy going through you every time your heart beats. So you're going to get this healing for the next six days going through your whole body. Do I have to do anything? So much better. You're going to feel like a new person. Do I feel, do I have to do anything? Nothing. Just drink water. Drink water, 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 water. Water. Yeah. Because I'm on 0.5 litres of tea allowance, mm. which is a bit horrible because I like drinking lots of water. You know, well, but, the water you, you have, put it in a, a cup, and put your hands on it and think of the best moment in your life and channel it into the water. Just think, manifest it, let it go in the water. So the quality of the water, not the quantity, but the quality is the most important part. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that was lovely, though. If you remember, you've been coughing a long time. Don't be, make it an <laughs> don't make it an habit. Because sometimes you cough because you think you should be coughing. So you've yeah. got to check, change your mindset. You don't cough. That's what you've got to do. Yeah. Thank you. So is I, that, haven't uh, coughed, have I? I haven't coughed yet. No, yeah. <laughs> You'll do it now. <laughs> no, Tim. Me. Oh, God. Has anyone got anything to add? I was gonna say, it, I somehow get the idea like, to use a vaporizer if you need for residual. Any, if you still feel any any residual, to use a vaporizer and put your intention into it. You need to clear out your lungs more. 
I mean, we use cedar wood <laughs> as a sure. energetic sure. clearance, but you can use anything that resonates with you. Good idea. Just a thought. <laughs> Thanks, Denise. Anyone else? Okay. Okay. We have Erica, Erica Badgett, Erica Badgett Thomas. So she was. So what was this? Did you just go around? Oh, you could. Yeah, you should. Erica, are you here? Uh, yeah, she's here. She just can't come off mute, but she can hear. This Tashina, that's my yeah. wife. You guys, I don't know if you guys remember me from last time. Ew. Yeah, so Erica's my wife. She can hear you. She's just in the middle of doing hair. She hasn't finished with her client. <laughs> but <laughs> you want me to come back to her? Um, I've asked her to me, but it, it's not working. <laughs> well, let me see if she's able to talk. Hold on a second. We could do another one and then do it next. She said, come back to her. Okay, honey. Remind me, because I'll forget. Okay, I'll remind you. Okay. okay, so she now, and we'll go back. Let's see, Danielle? iPhone Danielle. <laughs> iPhone Danielle. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, just a lot of burning from my uh, solar plexus down. <laughs> oh, this thing helps so much. You know, I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm sure it's lighting up now. <laughs> got it working. <laughs> I, I, I even got some uh, crystals on the side helping, you know. I can see them lighting up. Around. I can see them lighting up. It reminds me of that one. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually uh, it's a device from uh, Lyran from the Lyran goddess when I was in Lyran and I'll bring back that that aspect and all the healing that they can there's someone that's selling them like they're made out of copper though the copper ones on online they're like 350 dollars yeah but yeah this one was really expensive <laughs> but it was worth it it helped a lot with unblocking me so you need to scan what I'm actually uh, feeling. Yeah, scan and more. just check for attachments. Yeah, it's like the the like where my kidneys are. It burns so bad. Like it's my from my solar plexus all the way down to my root of them burning for like a week and a half now, and I've done everything. But what you'll have to do is make one of these like a belt. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> I need it for sleeping. That's when it happens. I wake up yeah. to it. It takes me all day to re-clear it, and then I wake up, and it's like all over again. It's like, okay, I'll, I'll be tired yet. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll send you some healing where you need it. Okay, so Debbie, you can do your. Bit.
don't know if you felt that, but um, it looked like you had the beginning of kidney cells. Yeah, it feels kidney like on the on the sides. I can feel it in my kidneys, like just burning. It uh, they were dissolved. But they're also, they're almost like they look like. Yeah, I can feel it. You look like you have cysts. Those have been removed too. They're dissolved. They're no longer. There's something on, there was something on your back, okay, along your spine. doing some healing along your spine. You've got some, I don't know whether you have bulging discs. I do, yeah. I'm yeah. Gonna back. I got them in my Yeah, that's, that's not helping the situation. So you're doing healing on your back and along your hips. a lot better yeah I could feel it and I just got two uh, visions while it was happening it looked like a field goal like you know the thing they kicked the mm -hmm. football through yeah like that like goal <laughs> I almost started laughing in the middle I'm like she <laughs> <laughs> yeah that healing should last for another four days yeah, I could feel it. That's the, like every night I could feel my team working on me. It's like I'm a machine. Like it's like clicking and ticking and, you know, like I'll tell them, you know, like work on my third eye and I'll just feel it like click, 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 click. And David was telling me how you could connect with people like through the third eye, not the heart. So I did it with my granddaughter yesterday because she's only four months, but she's definitely like an old soul so i connected with her through third eye yesterday and she grabbed my finger and smiled the whole time and i just felt my third eye pulsating and, and then you know after like five minutes i disconnected but it was like she was giving me downloads and i had a shift two days ago that showed up and while i was watching it it was like literally i could feel my third eye jumping it was like giving me direct downloads i was like oh this is amazing so they work on me a lot, but that definitely helps so yeah. much. The energy is I've been great. just feeling the burn. Yeah, I've been feeling the burn like crazy, though. It, it mm -hmm. feels like uh, that's why I thought it was an attachment, because the last time I had attachments, it was burning. Like, it just burned so bad. Like, it's on fire. Almost. No, no attachment. So, yeah, yeah, good. I've been shielding myself. I'm just working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it right vitally. Well, you can... Um, <laughs> You can, like lost souls are, um, you can ask uh, Archangel Michael that not to, you can you can abstain from lost souls. You know, you, know, you can say, I never want any. Um, you know, we've, we've chosen to be able to have, to help them cross over. So, I mean, yeah. we, people can say, I don't ever want any, which will keep you from okay, getting awesome. them. Yeah, I've been saying that for like a month. That could be why too. Like, um, yeah. I'm done with them. I can't do it no more. They're too much work. <laughs> yeah. I don't know the proper procedure for removal, so no more until yeah. I learn. So you can I say, know. I don't ever want any. That's fine. You <laughs> can say that, then you won't get any. You know, I, okay, you, we don't awesome. have a problem because we do know what to do. Yeah, okay, we, awesome. we've been getting them all week. Yeah, when you can do it, you know, on your own, it's, it's a beautiful thing to help assist people, but. 
when yep. you feel like you know you're waking up with it it's just it's rough on your system yeah so yeah they find us everywhere yeah there's a light all over the place just wanna go. <laughs> they just want to go home <laughs> yeah. thank you guys i definitely uh, feel uh, it it's, it's my turn now right so. <laughs> yes it is <laughs> right go, uh, <laughs> a lot a lot was happening there the reason why you're having problems is because of this your energy is out of balance because of this you're trying to catch up and you're not grounding yourself as much you should be grounding yourself a lot more because you've lifted your vibration yeah you've lifted yeah, your I'm vibration yeah you, you've lifted your vibration ground yourself more connect to your I always think your chakra should work in like a figure of eight to, to each other and start channeling and connecting. The being that's trying to connect to you is your aspect, uh, Paradian princess. Uh, I can't say the name because it's that high pitched, I can't even say it. It's like a, it's just too, it's just too high, but, but she's trying to connect to you and it's Paradian definitely. Yeah, that's me. If you ever get knowledge like this, it's your first Hint. What you told first is the truth. Uh, yeah, I, I think you just need balance, and everything else will work better. Uh, it might be worth actually putting some at uh, your, your root chakra to connect to your t uh, to your crown chakra, and uh, work like this because at the moment it, it's just a little bit out of balance because of what the new device you've been right, actually just found. Mm. I connect my root with my crown yeah connect it but you, you might be able to get a similar crystal or, or, or and just put it in a pocket just connect it like that or, or as i said when i first said it which i didn't i was joking at the time but i wasn't joking because it must have given make a belt make some sort of belt similar and then create a balance through the body and grounding a lot of grounding and water water and grounding while you're getting it up while you basically physically create your own upgrade basically yeah where's my card hmm where's my oh, card I forgot about that so we guess it's probably spiritual growth <laughs> I'm guessing <laughs> yeah tell them when work lots of shadow work oh my goodness I don't think you need a lot I don't think you need a lot of shadow work no 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 I, I, I did did a lot Oh, you've like, already done like, it. Months. Yeah, like four months of it, nonstop. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I I've been think, doing healings like every other day. I think what's happened is because you've done your shadow works, is a spirit, is an, uh, a lifetime that's come through that's given you slight health problems. It is a memory of that life. Yeah. Once you open one door of uh, a life, once you open one door, you open another door, and, and the energies can make you feel like that person for a bit. Or a few months. Right, tell us when. Oh, she not froze. Yeah, tell I us when. Do some shadow work in uh, yeah. uh, Atlantis. When? I was in Atlantis. <laughs> I was kidnapped by Orions. Tell when? us when. He's been shuffling for 10 minutes here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd end up killing myself uh, in Or. Danielle, are you going to tell him when on the cards? You going to tell him when to stop? Oh, crap. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that part. <laughs> uh, guardian Angel. Sweet. Uh, guardian Angel. Just give me a sec. Guardian Angel. So. <laughs> Basically, they're just saying that they're behind you. All the way. Yeah. I call them a lot. So you got any angels that are with you when you need them? They're there. Oh. Yeah. Awesome. I do call them a lot. Yeah. Thank you guys. I love Thank you. you. Does anybody else have anything for Danielle? Okay. Is Erica Badgett Thomas ready yet? 
I think I just saw her leave. Yes. Hi, can you hear me? I can. We have to see you. Oh, sorry. It's okay. There you are. Can you take your mask off for a second? There's that face. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you guys? Hi. Okay, so you want a scan and a healing? Yes. Is there any particular healing or just uh, energy healing? Or? Um, my first time doing this, so I don't really know. <laughs> um, I don't know if I could say everywhere. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. The main one. Yeah. Look to see what is brought through for you. This one, anyway. Erica, if you just relax, I'll, I'll give you some healing, yeah? So it'll start, it'll go into your crown chakra, and then you might just feel for your body. Okay. Oh, the ancestors are here. There's a, a whole group of tribal ancestors circling around you. Mayan, Native American, their star nations are all around you, just like your wife. You're from the same group of, you're from the same, you're a shaman as well. You're one of the 11. Wow. Wow, that's right. That's so good to hear. You have the same gifts. You're a healer as well. Have you always wanted to be a healer? I did. Um, yes. Oh my gosh, your energy is so strong. You're bringing tears to my eyes. Yes. What I've picked up is, you. if you have any health problems or digs, it's because you're not using your gifts. You should be using your gifts. So yeah. it's, it, it's a sign to say, come on, use your gifts. And they just dig it. And the, the ancestors and your guardians are just giving that little dig saying, come on, go on, a, on the better path. Because you can. You Use the gifts you've got. Don't waste them. She's okay. So oh, you are so powerful. It's unbelievable. Thank you. Just didn't know where to start. Um. All of the signs. The the this loads of signs that they're giving you, and you just you just ignoring them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this has been giving me anxiety. So. <laughs> the anxiety. The anxiety. The anxiety that you're having is um, 
your fear. Yeah. yeah I picked up fear before. Mm-hmm. Fear, fear is controlling you a bit too much. Get rid of it. Let it go. You are a card, by the way, while Deb carries on. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Just say stop, when. Okay. Stop. Uh, serenity. Serenity. <laughs> mm. Perfect. I love that word. <laughs> yeah, basically the peace of your mind peace of mind is with you. You've just gotta you just gotta follow it, haven't you? you just so it's in the set in there to do everything and you mm-hmm. you've gotta find you've gotta just follow your art and your okay. gifts. Yeah. Thank you so much. I yeah. really appreciate it. Yeah, we we'll have to get together um, and uh, let you know that there's a lot of information to share with you. Okay. Thank you. I hope you guys have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody got anything to say? Thank you all. Appreciate it. <laughs> you were right. Oh, there's my unmute. Oh my gosh. Uh, 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 yeah. I know I confused a bunch of you. Um, there is a group of 11 um, from a, a, a star nation uh, that um, Rick and I have uncovered one by one. I think she was number nine yeah. out of the 11 that we've uh, found. Um, and they're, they're from the star. Uh, they're all they're all healers. They're all shamans. Wow. And um, I feel like I feel like there may be two more on the line, but I'll wait till you get there. <laughs> I wait till you it's get number there. nine out of the eleven that we've found so far. Um wow. there, there's a whole group of ancestors that gathered. They come I can see them all gather around them as soon as I, we find them. I speak. and the energy is so strong with every one of them. It's she's she brought tears to my eyes because her energy is extremely strong. Um, I can't even describe what I see other than Native Americans and, and Mayans that gather. They just, they appear with their headdresses. Well, all their headdresses in a circle around her, around them. But I know who they are as soon as, as soon as uh, they arrive. So I, I don't want to confuse anyone, but hey, Dino, you know, do you know what, what, what's your, Oh, I was just thinking that, uh, Erica, for me, when I first started, my only advice for you is don't second guess your intuition. That's what held me back so much for the, uh, as far as that, uh, anxiety, just go with your first feeling because yes. that was the biggest thing for me. Yep. Me Thank too. you for that. Thank you for the advice. Yep. Trust, trust the messages you're getting. It's trusting that, um, that that's what held me back was my was trusting, trusting the messages. They don't lie to you. And we'll talk more. Work it. She's a beautiful. Our next one. If anybody else, anybody else have any messages for for um, Erica? Okay. Um, Celia. Celia Sal- Salazar. Hi, Deb. Hello. I think Leo is back. Do you remember the attachment the last time? Really. <laughs> It is the same, uh, you know, heaviness here, and sometimes it's uh, th- there's a pain that is persistent. That I, normally I don't have these kinds of pains. That's why I'm. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I can't get rid of it. You think it's Leo? I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know Leo went to I Leo went home, but maybe somebody else. 
I'm just kidding. I'm just, you know. Um. Hmm. You have Paul there now. See, do you, you want me to send some healing to you? Yeah. Yeah. All that, all that pain. He's got an attachment. Yeah. I'll send love to you, to you as well as the attachment. Is it a spirit? Oh, yes, a spirit. It's a spirit. Okay, he's releasing himself. Um, it's Mother Mary. He should feel lighter. He's still going with Mother Mary. Celia? Yes? What gifts have you got? What spiritual gifts have you got? I'm not sure, but um, lately I have been dreaming of people. Hmm. And every time that happens, there is either a bad thing or a good thing that's happening in them. I, I was shown that your guardian guide or guardian is giving you spirits that are lost souls like training you huh. okay so you've got to do what we're doing here training me to do what send, send spirits to the light bringing angels what, what Deb's doing now yeah. you, you've been brought this soul to, to take it to the light you've been trained huh Okay. So think about that. Yeah. All right. Our, our Deb has just done a work then. You try it. Okay. okay. I will. Okay. Have you got anything, Deb? Mm hmm? <laughs> anything with that? Well, it's not very hard to learn. Um, if you want to get together with me, it's not something I, I, and I don't charge for things like this. So don't think that there's a fee. <laughs> <laughs> the, the best, the best thing I can suggest ask is 
Most of these spirits are scared to go forth. They've done something wrong. They've done something wrong. And if you give them love, it breaks a lot of barriers. I've, uh, I've gone in buildings and that's the one thing that breaks. Even the most, you could say the evilest spirit there, the one who's done the most love will just surrender all the negativity of that and you can get through to them. Yeah. Do you want a card? Yes. Okay. Please. Tell us when. No. Ah. I love this card actually. It's my favourite. Blessings. Ooh. Okay. You know, I started um practicing the uh, communing with the angels and the archangels yeah. from the summit uh, uh, a website I, I think Debbie posted that and I, I'm taking the lessons for like communing with the angels and practicing it the, the, that blessing card means you're getting extra blessings up. so that's good thank you thank you so any difficulties they'll be there for you Okay. If, if you need help on this, taking spirits, they, they can guide you as well, as well as that. Okay. okay. That'll do that. Hey, Celia. Hi. Hi. So I just Hi. wanted to say really uh, quickly that um, I've also been blessed with what you're going to be learning. Um, and I had found out that this was part of my path. <clears throat> Because I had, um, I un, un, I invited by accident um, an entity in. So I got rid of the entity, but it seemed like there were others that were coming. And then I realized, oh, you know what? There's a reason that that's happening, and I had to think about it. And I thought, okay they're just trying to go to the light and when I had that thought like the the my guides and spirit guides like the light bulb came on right that ball that says oh yeah so um, anyway that was part of my learning lesson was and and I have been doing portals off and on um, I am not going to get it too much into that but um, so this is part of a <clears throat> part of a I guess I don't want to call it a ritual or a ceremony it's not that intense but uh, pretty easy to do and um, as long as you you know surround yourself with love light high energy beings the ascended masters whatever whoever you call in um, it, it's very easy you know when you when you hook them up to your light from the crown and, and those who want to go, they will attach to that. They will lovingly, you know, and send them with love on their way. And they will lovingly, lovingly um, go because they're ready. They've been here for however long it's time for them to leave and they get it. So um, it's something very simple that, uh, and there's no, you don't have to be, you know, no worries or anything. It's it's all good. So as long as it's done with the right intention and unconditional love, easy peasy. Hmm. Thank the, you. The other, the, the other thing is they will be scared. They, they want to go, but they don't. And the love yeah. part, the love part breaks that boundary. Yeah. And I I usually tell you know when I when I have been doing this, um, I have usually told them go with unconditional love to um, to go on the rest of your journey because you're stuck here so it's time for you to move on and discover what else you can be and then I, I get a lot of oh wow yay you know kind of I however it comes to me um, and then I they usually all go every once in a while i have gotten a lingering and they're a little it takes maybe a little bit more but they've come to me for a reason 
And so sending them with a little bit more on usually does what needs to happen. Thank you, Rhonda. Oh, you're welcome. Celia, I just you reminded me, Rhonda, when I was a child, I used to get attacked by demons regular, and I mean once a week. And only last year I realized I wasn't getting attacked by demons. The angels were training me to be a warrior. Right. So, so the inkling last year, hold on, they wouldn't, have let, they, they wouldn't have done that. They wouldn't have let me again. I would have been protected. Ah, they weren't demons. They were, they were teachings. So sometimes the teachings can be not nice, but it is training at the end of the day. Yeah. So thank you for that. Lately, there's a lot of negative stuff that are coming to me and and I just practice poising myself to send, you know, loving thoughts and, and stuff. And and it's amazing that, you know, as, as soon as I do that, it's like almost instant, they go away. Well, uh, did you remember the card you picked, Blessings? Yes. That, that basically means it's when you've got them thoughts or when negativity is around, yeah. you ask for the angels for help. I mean, because you're specially blessed by them. So. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I, yeah, that that is much needed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Tashina, you're next. Yeah. You sure you are healing? I thought you were good. You're good at healing anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll give you some. I'll give you a boost. <laughs> Is there anything you need help with any healing? I don't think so. Um, maybe just seeing what I can't see right now. Um. I can't clearly see anything right now, but just having a confirmation, I guess. Um, I'm not experiencing any, I don't know, maybe there's something left over that I need to heal, but. Did, did you have a download last time? Yeah, I had a download last time. Uh, do you know, if it's, is it open yet? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes it is, but um, I don't really feel like, um, I got all of what it's all about. I feel like it's so much more um, than the small surface that I've I've covered. You know, I've uncovered so far. Mm. Yeah, what happens <laughs> is when a download goes through an ELA, he knows a download's gone through, but he doesn't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's your personal message from the spirit world. Yeah, yeah. I, I've just been feeling my connection. Um, a lot stronger. Mm. My, my my inner knowing strengthening is like picking up faster, I guess. Okay, I'll I'll send you some healing. Okay, okay. I can do your bit. Okay. house must be buzzing the energy holy mackerel the only thing I'm seeing is on uh, your back your spine and your hips. Thank you. 
Some kind of skin condition? We have some kind of skin condition. Skin condition. Yeah, lately my skin has been really sensitive. Yeah, he said he's going to take care of that. It's probably the energies, but they're. I've been doing, um, Phil has me grounding myself before I get out of bed in the morning. It, it, it'll help. Okay. Especially, I don't know if you're having back issues. I'm having a lot of back and feet issues. Yeah, back and feet. Mm. It's, yeah. it's helping me with my back and feet issues because when we're waking up in the morning, we need to ground itself before we get out of bed because what we're doing at night what, it's what is what's affecting us okay okay in, in the astral is what's okay. affecting us so that's the if that's what they're the message i'm getting is uh, before i get out of bed is trying to remember to ground ourselves do you have a tree outside a window yeah yeah ground yourself with that tree Okay. The roots coming out of your feet and ask and tell ask the tree if you can join his roots down into the floor and either use the magma of the earth or the or the crystals in the in the earth, center of the earth, whichever one you want to join with and okay. ground into those crystals or the magma. Okay. And you're join the tree. Because lately I just kind of roll out of bed and get myself together and then take a walk in nature. So um, Before you get out of bed, and that's what's you'll you'll find yourself hardly any pain. Okay. I get out of bed, and I'm and for some reason that's the only Phil's the one that got me to do that. No pain then, never okay. hurt me any. It's what okay. we're doing in the astral. Okay, cool. <laughs> he said, ever do the same thing. That's, that's <laughs> okay. what I, and I'm telling you, it ma it makes my whole day better. Okay. Okay. If, if you can't your healing, I can help yeah. you. I can do it. But it's it's whatever work we're doing in the astral. That I'm. I told him. I said I feel like I'm I'm being dragged by my feet. And my always vibrating. My feet are always vibrating. Always. Mm -hmm. No matter what I do, it's like a highlight or my feet something just vibrating. Mm -hmm. Def definitely, you you like blocking your your grounding. Man, you know, it's staying at your feet, you need to ground it through. You could do the halo method that I do, you know, like a crystal halo above your head, manifest it and visualize it, and then just let it go down and it, it clears all the negativity you picked up in Astro, and then just, okay. just ground it to your feet. Yeah. Okay. I, I did get a message, actually. <laughs> I don't know we get messages. You're one, you're one of the 11, am I right yeah. there? Yeah. 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 You Astro, at night, Astro, travel. You don't get to the party. You've got the key. You can party with them. You gotta <laughs> okay. Enjoy them a bit more. Okay, okay, okay. I will. I will. Yeah, party, will. party like download is is a key. You you got you can get go to the special party. Okay. And I, I do believe it's on another planet. So there you go. <laughs> okay. Maybe dimensional planet. I'm not sure where. Okay. It, it was actually a Mayan. One in, in, in gave me the details. It was quite. It was all dressed up and everything. It was quite amazing. Okay. Mm. Okay. There's a whole. There's a whole group of them around her. They're all in there, in their beautiful 
beautiful dress, the headdresses, and those are her ancestors. They're always with her. Every day, I feel them now. Mm-hmm, I bet you do. I feel them now. Well, your house is buzzing, the energy. <laughs> with the two of you? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know when we have when we have like some little discussions because they're only discussions they only last for five seconds. I can tell they're like banging stuff around like you two quit it so we can move on. <laughs> My husband could see energy. He sees everything. Imagine what he sees in your house. <laughs> he can see them all. I know, I know, I know. That, 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 that'd be one, please. <laughs> Stay there, <buddy. laughs> Between our energies and then theirs? Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty powerful. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> We could be in, in a room full of people and they just don't understand our code or language. Yeah. My sister's on here too. She, she'll she confirm it when you guys get to her. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, I know. I mean, this is my heart. It's beautiful. It's so, and, and I get it. Okay. There's so much more. Yeah. Anyway, you are, um, you'll feel a lot better. You should, your, your throbbing should have stopped and your back and, and, um, and, uh, spine, everything should feel a lot better. Yeah. I don't know if you felt my energy. Are you done, Phil? Did you? Yeah. Okay. Did you pull a card for her? I can't remember. You did or not? That's no, not, can't, no. remember. can't remember that. No, he didn't. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to tell him when. <sighs> Stop. Uh, I did shuffle them. <laughs> Serenity again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing yeah. wrong with that. No. <laughs> that is my favorite word too, anyway. Yeah, peace of mind. I think I think that's also because the cards mean something, but also you can put your bit in. I think enjoy what you've got. Yeah. Enjoy it. I think that's what serenity. Relax and just think that this is what I've got. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, man. Love you. Love you, Thank too. You. <laughs> Next, we have Valencia Fulbert. She's new. Yes, I'm here. Hello, everybody. We'll try, we'll try to be gentle. <laughs> oh, well, it's, it's already been a little overwhelming, more than I expected. Um, I was definitely affected by Erica's session. I wasn't expecting that. But um, I have been experiencing, maybe for the past couple of months, increased... Um, pain and discomfort in my lower back and hips, which I haven't haven't had that since an accident years and years and years ago. Um, so I'm not sure um, not sure what to ask for, but I do want to know about that, whether it's inflammation or if it's something else. And um, have been trying to do some work to heal from past traumas as well. Has it got worse as you've been doing the past traumas? Yes, I think so, but I didn't link the two. What, uh, happen, what, what happens when you're working on past traumas? Um, uh, you're opening doors. Okay. So when you open a door, it can get worse because you, you need to release it. You, you've opened the door a bit fully. You're only getting a little bit. Now, uh, a lot of times you might have a a fractal soul part so basically you are like meditate go into this life 
and heal your soul, bring it, you know, bring coax it back to your old soul. Uh, and that could be why you're getting a bit of bad back because in that life you got injured, you, you died basically because of a back injury. So, and a shock, it's only a trauma in that life, very, very fast. So you've got to go back in that life because you've opened the door to it, but you haven't healed it. So you've got to give it love and bring it back and say it'll be okay. Now, sometimes you get traumas in your childhood, but past lives can be as well. So you got to, you do meditation. You definitely do. Yeah. You do meditation. Yeah. I've been working on it. I'm not good yeah. at it. <laughs> <laughs> so do meditation. Go back into that life. Coax, coax your soul back. Send it love and release the agony and the pain and forgive anyone who killed you in that life. Forgive them. Forgive yourself for what, how it happened and let it come back and let you know surrender and release it. So, okay, so do you want to do anything, Dad? Shall we do it? Yeah, I see. Um, she's got a cyst on her spine and lower okay. back. I'll send you a link now, but let's see. I've actually picked up this past life. Just send yourself love. Try, try and do it now because there's an axe in your back.
How are you feeling, Valencia? A lot lighter, less tense. How's your back feel? It feels good. Good. Yeah. Do you want to know the life, by the way? Yeah. I, got, I got it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. You were, it was a battle, French against Spain, and someone axed your back. So it's probably middle ages, I don't know. They put an act, they actually axed you back, but you survived it, and you crawled back, and you, I don't know if the dogs or wolves, you were eating. So that's the trauma. So you survive for days with an axe in your back. And then the final bit, you actually. I actually saw that, so. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not the nicest thing, but it's been released. That has been released, definitely. Thank you. Did you get any of that, Deb? No, I, I was. She had a cyst in her back that has been dissolved and healed. And her hips were, one was a little bit higher, one side was a little, little bit higher than the other, and that's been adjusted and and uh, fixed, so, and that's been healed. Thank you. <laughs> so you, I didn't get the past slide because I didn't ask for it. Mm. But, I don't have to watch the um, film tonight. I've just watched them. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm focusing on healing. We do get past lives, but I didn't ask for one. Oh, can I get a card, please? I think what it was, I think you've dug it up a little bit because of your, you're working on it. And that's yeah. how it's, it, it's come out a little bit. So it's okay. good, it's released now, it's residue, it's gone. That's excellent. Tell us when. When? It better not be Sarah Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's uh, Archangel Michael. The warrior. Yeah. Good. He's, uh, he's been making himself present, he's presenting himself to you as a sign of courage. You probably needed him in your past life, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, as a sign of courage. So that's good. It always feels like I'm in a fight, even now, currently. Yeah. But he's there, he's there to give you courage, so he'll support you. Thank you. Where complete does anybody else have anything for Valencia? I do, Deb. It's done. Tara Akoshta, I think. Mo Ona Kash Edo. Tara Aka, Valencia, Kasha Anto. There's an antos one and hey, Tara Arika, Paro Unka, Se Eke, La Anna Okush Edoksha, La Hana Se. That was beautiful. It was beautiful. I don't know what it meant, but it was, it felt good to my spirit. It was for your spirit. I think also it'll help your journey. So because you've now got rid of the past life, mm. it'll help your next journey. So. Oh, well, thank you all. Thank you. Yeah. Hmm? The next person's uh, Denita. I said that right. Denita? Yes, I'm here. Have I said have I said your name correctly, yeah? Yeah, you did say it correctly. That's good then. 
I'm not sure where Deb's gone unless she's uh, shapeshift invisible. <laughs> she's got an invisible cloak on, I think. Uh, what sort of healing do you need or spiritual questions or anything? Um, mainly, it's been like more like mentally. Um, I've been really exhausted from work and not getting enough sleep and my business. Uh, a lot of it's been a lot of negative thoughts that I've been trying to reprogram my head, mm. my mind, um, and anxiety has came back. Mm. It's it's a bit like a roller coaster. If you've got negative thoughts and you do not don't like your, what you're doing, your work and everything, just keeps on building up and building up and building up. Yeah. And if you keep hold of that, you end up getting pains in your shoulders, your back. Your, your joints because it's like a negative energy it's like a static and it just can't hold itself in your head so long it's got to leak out so all of a sudden you might get pains in your back or your shoulder and that creates more stress and it's just a big cycle so you need to change the, the cycle somehow but I'll, I'll send you some healing uh, hopefully Deb will be back and she can scan you so just relax and uh, just let it to surrender the negativity. Uh, I'll try and send some uh, gold source energy into you, which is like a like a yellow colour for emotions. Okay, just relax. Deb, uh, Denise has got a lot of stress going on in her head, a lot of emotions. So if you want to scan her. Denita, do you just want to say something? Because Deb only sees two people. <laughs> you said say something? Yeah, I said. Okay, perfect.
Bill, are you picking up any negative beings around? I'm getting a really bad headache. I'm, I'm picking up a, a trauma from when you were a young a child. Is it a young you know, child? Like an event when you're very, very young that traumatize you a bit. You might have even forgotten it. Uh, uh, I, I've, I've had a lot of this. <laughs> it could have yeah. traumatized me too. I, hmm? I said I've had a, a lot of events that could have traumatized me. Yeah. Um, well, all the, all these are uh, you actually holding a lot of baggage from that. Do you know what I mean by baggage? It means you're holding a lot of negativity from when you were young. Especially a, a very, uh, an older man, actually. Uh, you need to try and find a way of releasing it. Because if you've got a bad memory that you won't let go and surrender it with love, you can hold it and it becomes baggage. And then at work, when you have all this trauma, it's just feeding like a shadow self of yourself. It's ma making, do you have, do you, are you angry a lot? Lately, yes. Yeah. Well, that, that's that. That's the frustration of, of your, your shadow. We we all have a shadow self, the, the anger part, the the thing, and we also have a light part. We have both, and we got to, like balance it. You just need a bit of balancing. You need to just surrender and release all this negativity. And what I was told, uh, like we did earlier, a lot of times if you hug a tree, if you hug a tree. Just connect to a tree, put your hand on a tree and just say to the tree in your mind, you don't have to shout out because people think something's wrong with you. Just say, can you take all this negativity off me? Yeah? Uh, try and, you don't do meditation. You, do you do meditation? Yeah, but I haven't done it in a while. Well, start well, doing meditation. I haven't been like consistent with it. Do I use sleep, sleep meditation to fall asleep. Yeah, do meditation and try and give your inner child a big hug. Start, and also start trying to play. Have fun. Start trying to what? Try and have fun. Try and have fun. Alter, alter oh, your God. life. Alter your life and have some fun. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be a walk in the park. It could be anything. Change your way you're doing things. Yeah, you, you're, you're like a, a robot at the moment, going to work, doing this, getting the stress, coming back to change it, change your path a little bit. Yeah, you get that. Yeah. Meditation though, lots of meditation. Get, with, and connect to your inner child, have a bit of fun and give, give your inner child a big hug. He's a big hug. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What have you got, Debbie? You say is some sort of being around. I, I just feel I just um I'm, I'm getting a headache. Mm. I, I feel like there's something negative around her. Um, I did see a I, I did see a, a man in his forties. As soon as I saw you, I connected to a man in his forties. I didn't know if that was a spirit or if it was a man or something. A man in his forties. Mm. Could be a spirit around you that's affecting your energies. Yeah, it's giving me a headache. Whenever I get a headache, it, it's it, yeah, it's oh. not a positive energy. Do you ever do you ever have anything weird going on in your own? anything? I'm a sorry? Bit, do you have anything a bit strange, strange going on in your own? house? Yeah, anything weird, anything move or anything get just disappears or it. it... Uh, only thing that's been like kind of like standing out lately is the fact that I don't like my closet door open anymore. <laughs> And every mm. time it's open, I shut it. Mm. And I, I always keep staring at it when it's open, so I try to keep it shut now. What well, what I'll do is I'll try I'll try and lift the vibration of your own, if that's okay. Yeah. So any, anything that that's negative or feeding off you uh, will not be a handle the high vibration. Is that okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'll do that now. I'm <laughs> 
History in your house. Like a lot of history, a lot of uh, happenings, a lot of uh, negativity in the energies. So you should feel different in there now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that kind of makes sense because, like, lately I, I, I keep saying that I have a permanent headache that just won't go away, that just won't go away. It's, it's been in the front of my head, and that's been happening for. Like you know, months, a couple months now, maybe like two, yeah. two, two months. That's exactly what happened to me. It happened to me when I tried to do healing on you. Of my headache started immediately. Yeah, it's right up mm. here. Yep, it's exactly what happened to me, and it it was because of the energy is in your place. And now, now that he's done that, my headache went away. It went away right away. So. Your headache should be gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's the energy in your place. There was something negative in there, and it was more than one. Well, what happens is I had a, a, a male 40 year old energy in my face as soon as I started healing it. And I'm a threat to the actual negative energy. So it's trying to frighten me. But I don't get frightened very easily. I don't ever get frightened actually. So we're now I've shifted it all. So, so it all who, who who is this person? It's a, it's something to do with the, the past of the house. Something to do with what? Something the to do past. with the history of the house. Yeah. Oh, the history of the house. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the house is a hundred years old. So, so when I burn stage, that doesn't make it go away. No. No. It, it's in the house. It's in part of the foundation of the house so it's not it can't just go away because it won't go anywhere it can't go anywhere but it is now gone so is yeah. it going to come back it's it's gone to the light oh. so. <sighs> i think deb's checking that Okay, so now the energies. He's not there anymore. He won't be able to survive there. He's got to move on. No. Yeah. It's gone. So now I, I want to focus on you um, to see what healing you need. I couldn't focus. I mean, it immediately gave me a headache. I couldn't even, I couldn't concentrate. It made me sick to my stomach. It was really negative. I've removed a lot of the stress anyway. But yeah. like stress, if you've got things in your life that makes you stressful, it'll just build up again. You gotta find a way of uh, grounding yourself and clearing it. Meditation is definitely one that you should think about. And, uh, and having fun and connecting to the inner child to try and clear all them past lives. Yeah, I'm not past life. All your life, all your difficulties when you were a child, try and clear that. And the best way is send you, yourself love, connect to yourself. And forgiving, and forgiving all the past traumas, no matter whose fault it was. 
If mm. so anybody has done you wrong, forgive them. And by forgiving them, the problem becomes their problem, not yours. You've let it go. Yeah. Do you want a card, by the way? Yeah. Okay. Tell us one. Retreat. And retreat is basically what I've just said, having a break, enjoying yourself, having some fun. Uh, you don't have enough fun in your life. And you can make you. That is true. This is true. <laughs> Slow down, re recoup all your energies. You're going to start taking care of you. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's definitely true. You have to love yourself. That's important. Sometimes when you do that, you might cry. That's yep. the best thing you can do because it's releasing yep. it all. It's just releasing it, letting it go. Yep. You have a lot of angels and guides around you and they're there for a reason. They've been with you since you entered this world. You're never alone. You may think you're alone, but you're never alone. They're there. You have fairies. Fairies are real. They're there to help you too. They're I assigned to you. Hmm? I just I just wanted to say that um, I'm a I'm a listening release guide and I assist people like I don't even know how that happened. But anyway, the one thing that um, I I try to mention to people is here I'm gonna sorry about that is um, it's really important if if it's hard maybe you know people have a hard time even thinking about loving themselves because of whatever's happened in their life so um, and this is for everybody. If they're, if you're not able to love yourself wholly, just start with one thing, one thing that you love about yourself. And by doing that one thing, you could probably find another and another until they all come together and out of nowhere you realize you know after however long that you really can love so if you can if you can love yourself you're able to pass that on that that love that compassion to others because without the love for self it's it's a little more difficult to you know to kind of have that unconditional love for other people so just start with one thing that's all just make it simple for yourself yeah i think the one thing Rhonda, is with retreat get yourself a break enjoy yourself a little bit yeah yeah, yeah that's been heavy on my mind definitely i was going to try to do something next weekend even if it's a walk in a park or something different, it's a start and then things and then do more and more. Uh, and then start lo loving yourself as Rhonda said. Yeah. Every every part eventually. No time on it though. Never have a time on it. Yeah. If, hey, if I can say one thing for you guys. Yeah. I I shared two things in the chat for you, sis. One, you should look up Eckhart Tolle, help you out with everything going on in your mind. 
help slow it down, stop those wandering thoughts, mm. and quiet the mind. That'll help out a lot. Okay. The other one is I shared a link for a meditation to help pull out any and all energies that are low vibration out of you and your field, which will help clear it up for you to be you. So, you know, if you need to do it every day, it'll change your life. It really will. It's amazing. And it was shared by my brother Nalesh and it changed things greatly for me. Mm. So if you need it every day, it's like 20 minutes, but uh, please have a look. And, uh, you know, we're here for you. If you need to reach out to any of us personally, um, what do we do? You know, we, we're here to serve and uh, help our family and you are our family. So please appreciate do it. reach out to us. All right, appreciate that. Thank you. Beautifully said, said, Zach. Well said. Yeah, the other thing I, I, I did mention, we've all got a shadow. Your shadow is quite angry. Embrace it and just say, no, I want to be light. I want to be, I want to feel good. You don't make me feel good, so you've got to do what I say. Yeah. If you get that, it it's, it's can, can be quite com complicated. You can't lock it in a cupboard because it, when it comes out, it's worse. So you, you've got to just let all your feelings go out. Just let them go out. So if you want to shout in your room for a few minutes, it's gone. Don't keep hold of it. Hold of pain, anger, let it go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. And I'll have, a, have a break. <laughs> Okay, I would definitely get a break today. Beautiful. Okay, thank you, Danita. Thank you. Next is Jordan. Jordan Denise. Yes, hello. Hello. Hi, Jordan. Can you all hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, if I could please have a scan and a healing, that would be great. It's my first time tuning in. Is there anything you need specializing or just healing? Uh, my lower back and my abdomen. Okay. So just relax and uh, I'll send you some healing. You may feel some um, warmth or vibration in your back. Your whole spine is lit up and your hips going across. 
Father's doing a healing. Some energy in your back. Your hips are not lined up, so they're he's doing adjustments. And you have some contusions, bulging going on too, and your spine and is being healed. Feel this energy going up your back as this healing is happening. All the way up to the back of your neck. And across your shoulders and down your arms. Feel sun down your into your thighs. You feel this feeling. It's also healing your throat. Going into your breasts, there were some cysts in your breasts. It's dissolving. Of a heart murmur. He's correcting the timing in your heart. is that you're going to receive a download through your third eye. Why don't you take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And again.
We want you to connect with your higher self and tell you and let your higher self know that you're you're ready to receive. Let me know when it's done. It's done. How are you feeling? Lighter. How's your back feeling? Uh, warm, really warm, actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got a back pain. <laughs> it's trans <laughs> transferred over. <laughs> so that's why I was trying to ground myself into the crystal. <laughs> that lasts about uh, five days, and then it'll just absorb in. But the energy will stay with you for about five more. Yeah. No, not me back Thank though, will <laughs> When you do healing, you can transfer the pain over uh, sometimes and you can actually feel your patient's pain and it's, yeah. not, it's not good. Yeah. Did, you, did you have a fall when you were dead young? Uh, I've had lots of falls. Um, yeah, I think big, I uh, hmm? fell down my stairs like every weekend. So. Stairs, definitely stairs. I yeah, saw the yeah. stairs. I think you'd, you, one of your ligament, uh, one of your nerve endings or ligament, uh, you know, your back is actually it's in your your bones, and because I, I, I had to move them. But I actually saw stairs. That's funny. But I wish I said that. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, it should be clear now. Huh? Thank you. I've never had a download before. That was my first one where I, I got a message. <laughs> your higher self wants to give you a download right now. Through your third eye. I, okay. Not that I've been aware of. Like, I hear a lot of um, uh, ringing in both of my ears, but I'm yeah. never really conscious of what comes after it. So Yeah, I, you know, that's the first time I've gotten a message from someone else's higher self to tell them, you're getting a download now. <laughs> Yeah, do you hear do you hear ringing in your ear sometimes? I do too. Yeah. A lot of times, yeah. That's the earth's frequency. Right? You can hear, especially a lot of times when you're relaxed and you're not really doing anything, you hear it more. It's mm -hmm. like listening to the earth. So, do you want a card? Yes, please. Oh, well. Stop. Okay. It's uh, surrender and release. Yeah. And basically, well, you've just released your pain to me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Stop hanging on to your worries. Let it all go. Just let everything go. Don't worry about anything. And if you don't worry about anything, then just let it all go. And your spiritual, that's what the angels are doing guiding you basically your, your spiritual path will go forth faster better so uh, now you've got to download and surrender and release you're on your way thank you thank you all thank so you. much thank you you're welcome okay. does anybody have any other messages for um jordan
Lavanda. Hi, how are you guys? Hi, yeah. You said that uh, I'm new and I need one. Can you hear me? You, yeah, what do you need? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Give me a second. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. It says your bandwidth is low. Right. right there? Yeah. Um. So I've, for years, I've been having a lot of abdominal and pelvic and lower back pain. Um, <clears throat> it comes and goes. Um, stress is one of the big triggers of it sometimes. Um, but I would love to get you guys' opinion, get a scan, get a healing. Okay. Just relax and I'll send you some healing. Yes, sir. got arthritis, you've got bulging discs. That's rheumatoid arthritis. Feel some heat in your back. Mm -hmm. Across your hips, your whole spine from the root chakra all the way up into the back of your head, you're going to feel this heat and energy. All the way. And across your ribs. Down both legs down both arms as the healing. This energy will permeate all the down your limbs. The discs are pinching the nerves, which is what's giving you the pain. It's almost like a, so it, it, you're gonna feel, as the healing is happening, you're gonna feel a lot different. It's gonna stay with you for the next five to six days, this healing. See, so it, it's gonna progressively get better.
And feeling in your ears. It's like a maybe sinus. And ears. It almost feels like I have this pressure. He's releasing it. I don't know whether this is for now or for the future. It's going down into the throat. Healing the throat. And down into the stomach. In the stomach. Now he's going to the pancreas. Spleen, liver, the kidneys, and the bladder. Do you have film? Uh, it's funny she's on the other page. <laughs> oh, there she is. She's come back in. Uh, I, I was picking something quite weird, actually. I was picking up a bit of under that you had an injury 10 to 15 years ago and some negative energy has been feeding off your pain. So I've just given you, I know it sounds weird, but I've just given you uh, an halo above your head, created a portal and then sent some white sea from the, the goddess of the white sea to try and cleanse your body of any negative energies. I don't know if you felt all that then. Thank you. Yes, I did actually. Yeah. Okay, so you, when you injure yourself, you can injure your aura fields for a day 
And if you've got any negative energies that can actually start feeding on any pain, then that's why you have continual pain because it keeps on feeding on it. So that hopefully has been cleared. If you end up in the night having an hot sweat, you're, you're being cleansed basically. You're being cleared basically mm -hmm. of this negative energy. Did you get that then, Deb? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did you have an injury about 10 to 15? I'd say 15 okay. years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> you sound like you got Deb's old bro band. I know. <laughs> 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 Thank you guys so much. I feel warm down my back. You got a card. My throat actually feels a lot better. Yeah. Yes, I have a level card. I'm fine. What was the injury, by the way? Um, my appendix ruptured, and I had to go in for emergency surgery, and then I had a a. a Cyst and a hernia behind my navel. So I had to go in and remove that as well. What that would have done is made you very weak energy wise, and uh, that's where it's come from. It's always where. Right. 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 The one is self acceptance. So I think that's more loving yourself, actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah, stop being so, stop, stop, stop being so serious. Start loving yourself. Okay? Yeah. So take more time to yourself and love yourself. Understand. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Anyone want to add anything? Five, four, three, two, one. It's five, Violet next. Okay, I'll unmute. Sorry. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Okay. Nothing in specific today. Just a nice energy boost. Okay, I'll do that. Deb can scan you. All right, thank you. And if Deb and Rick can scan too, that would be great. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't see you. Where are you? Hello. Why isn't she popping up? My back on. She's on. I'm a full screen, so. Hang on, let me try to move. Is that better? Your bandwidth is too low. You always see. How about now? No, nope, I still see Phil. We just we just see your <laughs> your name in a black box. Yeah. yeah I, Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking, hold on. I just had a little signal a minute ago. How about now? No. no. Okay, I love my thing. Sorry. <laughs> How do you actually appear as a black box? I'm not sure how you do. <laughs> Still nothing? No. Okay. I don't know why it's not working. You still there, yeah? Nope, she's gone. No, she's here. Still see it. No. 
just see your name in a box. That's all. Mm. Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't want to cooperate today. Mm. It is. Yeah, you are. What's up? Yeah. We see you now. I see you, Violet. Why can't I see her? Speak, Violet. I'm here. I I still don't have her her face in front of me. I I can see it. Well, I need to see her. (laughs) Not you. (laughs) Violet, can you talk, please? Violet? Go. Um, Don, are you here for um, a while or do, do you... I'm want, here for a while. I'm here for a while. Are you? Are you? Okay, because I know we need to do Don. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't see Violet. I think she popped off. Yeah, should we do the next one, and then we'll do Violet after. Okay, Ileana. Unmute yourself, dear. I've asked. (laughs) Unmute. Unmute. That's it. There we go. Oh, you just muted yourself again. Unmute yourself, Ileana. (laughs) You pressed it to to uh now it's perfect there we yeah. go there we go <laughs> thank you <laughs> um i'm here again okay. uh, with almost the same thing but also i feel better uh but it's like a back and forth i have a cough and uh, still are there and something in my right eye a little thing over there not something you have someone in your right eye there's a person in your right eye oh okay and in my back the problem was gone and i'm not sure it is back because the last uh, maybe three or four days is it was so strong another time on the back. And I just start to thinking, no, no again. But I don't know what I'm doing exactly to stop that. And I am not sure it's, if it's the same thing. Okay. In, in the area of my heart on the back. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank yeah, you. I'll, I'll do some. I'll send some. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. Is that your dog? All right. All right, Indiana, let me take care of the guy in your eye first. Okay. I have all these volunteers. They're all like, oh, I'll take him, I'll take him, I'll take him. Very interesting. Strange place to be, your eye. I guess not. He sees he sees everything that you see, so I guess that's not a strange place to go. Because he's correcting me, he's saying, "No, it's a great place to go because I can see everywhere she's going." <laughs> he's telling me. He wanted to be like a human again, didn't he? He wanted the sight of a human. That's what it was. <laughs> what? It's a bit the sight, the sight of what a human sees. Yeah. 
That's right. That's why he's he's correcting me. It's the best place to go. That's not it. He's not sure he wants to leave. He's trying to bargain with me. I've never had one of these before. Well, actually, I have, but not in a long time. Oh, Archangel Michael, it's not funny. He's laughing at me. It's not really funny. <laughs> what's my what's my guarantee? What's my guarantee that I'll go into a heavenly place? Go make a deal, Michael. <laughs> Hey, anytime you get Archangel Michael to laugh, it's a good deal. <laughs> He's laughing at me. He's not laughing at the other guy. <laughs> He's laughing at me and my predicament. <laughs> Make a deal, then. Michael might not be happy, then. <laughs> Michael's laughing at you now. <laughs> That's because I've done that before. He's normally not happy when I do deals. <laughs> He's saying he can still dance better than you. <laughs> We're carrying on the same conversation we had a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Last time I channeled him, he said I needed to clean the house more. Okay. All right. I'm giving him his options. Well, upstairs or down below? <laughs> no, it's the people to escort him to the light, the heavenly place. <laughs> Home. He chose the pretty lady. Releasing now. And he's gone. Okay, now I'm going to heal the eye.
We hold your back. Can I pass the light? past life as a warrior, do you see a sword going into her back? Or a knife. Juliana, can you oh. fucking get your picture back? All I see is Phil. Hmm. Yeah. You can see that? Mary, there we go. Okay. Your eye feel better? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, because it's gone now. Oh, okay. What's happened there? What's you had somebody attached to you that had crossed over, had died. They attached to your eye instead of going to the light. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, so it's gone now. Yeah, it resonated with your soul. So it liked your energies. You got very nice energies for and, and it, it, it stayed in the eye because you wanted to experience being a human again with the sight part. The spirits don't see the same as us. Okay. Okay, but it's gone. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Deb, sorry about that. I had to take the dog out. What <laughs> What was the past life? I saw something. Either uh, she was either stabbed in the back or uh, or a uh, sword. Hmm. Get a bit of a warrior. Lower. Bit of battles going on tonight. I didn't get that. You got the past life this time. <laughs> I was doing concentrate on you anyway. How was your lung anyway? What how long have you had that? Um the cough? Yeah. It's a uh, back and forth for four weeks. I feel better the last time, but come back um uh, like a two, three days after that, mm -hmm. and I decided to uh, take some medicine, more strong medicine, and now it's better. But for any reason, it's come back and forth. Usually, I am very healthy, and this is unusual in me, really. I try to do it many healthy things, but doesn't work like it usually. That is that is why it's. Uh, mm, Different now, yeah. Okay. Do you want a card? Card? Okay. Stop. That's quick. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's your choice. Uh, playfulness. Oh, okay. Uh, that bit, I think that's like a. It says it how it is, actually, that one. Playfulness. You, you're, you take responsibility too serious. You gotta play. Enjoy yourself. Oh, okay. Have fun. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and what's happening with my back? I am not sure if, if the um, attach is come back because I feel strong in the same spot. I feel uh, a strong energy in the same spot at the same time, usually. It's, it's all related. Um, it's it's it, um, this past life has come up, and I just I saw the whole thing. You were did you ever see the knights where they joust? I, you were on a horse, and you know they you know jousting is where on a, they are on the horse and they have the suits of armor. Mm -hmm. Had the 
you were one of the knights and they they actually got got you from the front and then they got you from behind so they got you in the back and they got you in the front so you were you were killed you're taken off the horse and they stabbed you in the back so you got you got off the horse from the front and okay. they got you in the back okay so that's how you died okay so you're, these are old these energies are bringing up old things old traumas okay so you're feeling these old ones so now that yeah um you know this past life you just have to let it go release it so this past life is coming up in, and i'm seeing your past life so we just have to release these we have to heal those energies now that's what this healing is for is for okay so both your lungs and that injury from the back are being healed today okay and that's what that's what the creator's showing me okay so that those are both being healed okay okay All right. yeah thank you so much thanks You're welcome anyone got any questions Deb, can I just say something? Because I said at the beginning, have you had the back? I, I was thinking, I'm not going to say that again. So if you have had a back and there's any negativity to it, but it's not for your higher good, I am giving you crystal source energy to remove the negative part of it. So I just wanted to let you know that. So you don't have to say anything. I'm doing that automatically. Okay. Uh, anyone I do really. So. Yeah. Um, but you know, we're given, uh, we're supposed to bring up the actual past life that bring, we bring it forward. That's what, that's, that's what our job is here is to bring that forward. I didn't see the other one, but obviously you saw the other one that was negative. So we're getting messages. Both of us are getting messages from the energies that are supposed to be brought forward to release, to be released. So, and that's a good thing. And they at least need to know about it to release it. Yeah. yeah. So it's healing. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Violet next. I don't know. Did Violet come back? Yeah, she's a she's got to speak, Violet. Okay, speak. Can you hear me? <laughs> speak. Can you hear me? Yes. Yay. Okay. Cool. Oh. I've had the worst connectivity issues lately, so. We understand that. <laughs> We've been booted many times. We're all leading. Yeah. I'll, I'll just start healing and Deb can scan me. Yeah. Okay, thanks. The thing I'm getting is more emotional type. I'm getting a tra trauma, actually. Deb. That's what I'm saying, is emotional. Ch childhood trauma, definitely. But between seven and nine. It's very hard to get, I'm just seeing the image, so I'm not, I've am got to guess the age. Really? If you close your eyes, Violet, and just go back to a, a trauma life when you were a child, something that it might even be dead small, but then it was big. Go to your past self there, go to that self and say to yourself, You're going to be all right. You, you're good, you're fine, I'm always there for you. Can you just that last part, I'm sorry. If you go to a, to a trauma, why don't you, you remember the most when you were a child? Go to that life 
say to that, that, that little girl that you're there for her, you're fine, you, you know, look what you're growing into, you, 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 you went past that trauma, just let it go, give yourself a big hug. I don't know, but I don't remember. I know there's something there, but I don't remember what it is. And I have tried and tried. Just carry on. Just, just try again. I'm sending you energy. Just see what comes to you visually in your mind's eye. Okay. And give yourself a big hug. Let it go. Forgive anyone who hurt you when you were a child. Did you see anything, Violet? Have you done it? Yeah. Um, it, it doesn't make sense. It was like um, a whole bunch of images flashing in front of my eyes. Mm -hmm. Like a film over and over again with different things and different people. <laughs> and then as soon as you were done, I felt like something like stabbed me, right? Like, it's like in the middle to lower part of my back on the side. Like it felt like something just like jabbed me. Mm. I actually uh, saw you in like a, you had the same dress as yourself, but you were the same size now. And you, you the, the child that you, you were get, jumped up and gave you a big hug. I actually saw that and that was, it was beautiful seeing that. I felt like the warmth but I think um, I knew there was a big block somewhere and I didn't know where and I've tried and I've tried and it's full circling to current situations um, that are making it very challenging if that makes sense yeah well, what happens is that that event has made who you are today but any negativity yeah. you, you receive feeds this trauma that you had so you've now released the trauma now you've got to heal yourself surrender and let it yep. all go yeah you want a card yes please tell us when um that oh, <laughs> that perfect card that is I can uh, healing. He healing. Yeah. <laughs> and it's been that, a of that lately. Yeah, well, that, that, what you've just done now, you've released the trauma. And what you do is, if you've got a problem and you focus on it with your life at the moment, you stop the healing going through. So you've got to not concentrate on any problems that you've got and let the healing work it out. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Okay. 
I still don't know the actual experience and I know that doesn't really matter. It's the circumstances and just releasing and forgiving, correct? Mm. That makes sense. Yeah. Like a blockage in the Have you got anything else, Deb? Oh. No. Is anyone else? Thank you, guys. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Sorry about the problems with the connection. Oh. Can't be helped. We've been there. Yeah, Deb's a I professional know. on that one. Right? I yeah. am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Thank you, guys, very much. Take care, Violet. You guys. Jeanette. Oh yes, it's me. I'm Lily. Hey. So hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to have a general scan and a healing, really, to see what's going on. I've had a last week. I felt really. I was really sick, vomiting, and then this week it's like I've just got like that niggling in my, in my stomach. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just relax and you, okay. you do you do heal. Yeah. I have a message from your higher self too. They want to give you she wants to give you a download. All these higher selves talking to me today. Is that a new gift app giving downloads? <laughs> oh, I guess so. Um, I, after the healing, your higher self wants to give you a gift through your third eye. So let's do the healing first. If you could take some deep breaths through your nose and out through your mouth slowly as we do this healing. Some nice emerald green energy going into your, down your throat, into your stomach. This warmth will go through in. Through your intestines, to your stomach into your bowel, into your... bladder, your esophagus, your throat, Energy is all will soothe you. You'll start feeling much better in a few minutes. And it's more energy going down your spine, across your hips, across your shoulders, down your arms, down your legs. your forehead now between your eyes you're going to feel this pulsing into your third eye and whenever you're ready you're going to say to your higher self I'm ready to receive
when you feel a download. Open your eyes whenever you're ready. Wow, that was powerful. <laughs> Pardon? That was powerful. I know. <laughs> I could feel it in my throat, going down to my body. <gasps> Thank you. I, 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 I picked up an aspect of yours that gave you the download, so I've got information now. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the aspects of Mongolian priest stroke lord that had ancient magical knowledge of healing, and that's the download. So, there you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Oh. Everybody, everybody on in this that will watch this. Everybody that's here today is going to be getting downloads. Everyone. You're all getting them. Your higher selves are giving you downloads. Whether it's during this event or later tonight, you're all getting downloads. It's very important that you remain open to receive and connect with your higher selves. Do the just three deep breaths in and out and just say, I'm ready to receive. Make sure you're grounded. That's all that's all you have to do. And connect with your higher selves every day. So important. Just say, I'm ready to receive. Just connect with them heart to heart. But you're you're all going to be getting downloads a lot in the next few months because it's time to catch up catch up and open up all these gifts that you've been been afraid to do <laughs> stop with the fear get ready because things are getting things are ready to to open up for all of us we've got to get on the move and start healing people we're more, needed. more, more. You know, you, yes. What you, you, you're obviously we met the other day, and you're an healer, but there's a lot, lot more than what you've been taught. You, you've got it all in there now. And in the next, from now to the next eight weeks, what Fanuel told me when I channeled him the other day, the horseman, one of the horsemen. Oh yeah, things I read that. Go, <laughs> things are get, no, but I actually channeled him after to check it out, and he says the next eight weeks, from now to then the world is going to completely go like an earthquake of madness. It's going to be really, really, <laughs> really weird. So just uh, as spiritual healers, that's what yeah. we're here for, to heal the ones who aren't awake. Yeah. Do, you want, do you want a card? Please, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> I found out I'm one of the horsemen as well. I didn't know that. Well, I did, but... <laughs> Don't yes, want <laughs> <laughs> friendship. Oh, our friendship. Oh. But what this means is you've got friends now, but some of the friends are not connected to you as much. So you've got to surrender the friend you've got now that have lost interest in your interests 
and the angels will will give you ones that resonate with you. You get that? So true. So true. It's happening now. Yeah, it is. Mm. So you got people who don't agree with your views, they're not, and the friendships like going distance, and the angels are saying that they'll provide you with the ones that you need, the ones that are on the same wavelength. Yes. That's so. right. I've been asking for that. And you met me last week, so there you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Oh, thank you so all, much. Yeah, everything that we volunteered to do here, why we are here, why we volunteered, um, that it's all going to start happening for the, the reason why we're here. So we have to have get, yep, get things going. Yeah, Deb, Deb, me and Deb, me and David agree. We got the short straw. <laughs> <laughs> we we could have gone on another planet and joined ourselves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh well. Lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome. You can tell me about the download tomorrow. Are you, are you at the meditation? Yeah. I am. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Diane. Hi there. Hello. Hi. I was just wondering if I could have some healing uh, for my uh, the issues I'm having with my frozen shoulder, please. Yes. How long? How long have you had it? A long time. Um, I've had it since about January, and um, I had some healing from you guys a couple of sessions ago. Um, so it's changed a bit since then. Immediately after having the healing from you guys, I, it was such a relief uh, to, to not have so much of the pain and I was able to sleep better at night and stuff, but it's, it's kind of changed a bit now, it's become a, it's become more sort of stiff and the movement is quite restricted um, and I get, I still am getting some pain from it, but I've had it since mm. about January. Yes, yeah, so sometimes if it comes back, you've got to think, what's happening in my life that, that makes that happen? You know what I mean? It could be could be some negativity, some stress that you just not need to release because that's your weak point. And if you have stress and it's too much, it will go to your weak point. Okay. And uh, because it's like attracted to it in a way, the negativity attracts the negative part of your body. Right, I'll I'll try and clear that then. Thank you. Well, Deb scanned. Yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't have any attachments. I love the tree at the back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Could I get uh, <laughs> I might get rid of it.
I hope it feels better, Diane. Thank you. Thank you so much. You feel a difference? Yes, I feel a sort of, it's a heat, but I can feel a kind of buzzing sensation at the front and the back of my shoulder. So, yeah. Hopefully Thank your you. spine feels different too, because I went all the way up your spine and your neck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've actually can feel myself getting hot. I could feel it going right down my body. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Great. All righty. Anybody have anything for her? Well, I do. <laughs> can I? Can I speak? <laughs> no. Well, I was picking up that one person makes you stressful. Okay. I thought. I thought they were making you stressful because of how they are. No, they're sending their stress to. I've never heard this. I've never had this before ever. They're sending their stress to you, and you're picking it up. If you get that, yeah, you've got to leak stress out of some out of yourself and ground it and everything. They're sending it to you, and you're picking it up. <laughs> yeah. I've never had that. That that is a new one. That is a new one on me. I was trying to work it out. That's why I had to have the words with the spirit and channel it and get a bit of advice on because it seemed very very weird. So what I would do is anyone who in anyone you go to it make you feel a bit stressed after. Okay. Try and put a shield, an energy shield, many energies from them. Oh, I will do. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. And yeah, I've never had that before. I thought they were making you stress. No, they were giving you their stress. So you don't even have to really have an argument with them or trouble or anything like that. You, It's the energy you feel after. So just mm-hmm. clock everyone you know. And who is the one after you've made them, you feel a bit drained or you're a bit tired or it's a bit different and then yeah. it's 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 like an opposite of an energy vampire okay. <laughs> but with, but with, it is it's the opposite i've never had that before well, so, yeah. mm-hmm. yeah. i'd just like oh, to I'll add an use, it, yeah. mm-hmm. use, use silver platinum light to reflect it back to yeah. the one that's casting it yeah it will actually repel magic mm-hmm. oh great i won't do that john thank good you I- good idea Dan. yeah yeah thank you very much Mm-hmm. I've never come across that before. <laughs> I mean, I've come across energy vampires, but not the opposite, but with negativity, giving everyone negativity. Oh, so, yeah. you, you. You, learn, you learn everything, you learn things every day. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody got anything else? I do. Okay. I do. <laughs> just, just a short one. Tata kushi ana huko raka tata taki ko huha kika pa si taka kiki shuturo tata tiyong owa iskawa ti tara huka huha iskawa te ni siya to huha. That's it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. A different light language. Then. Yeah. yeah, they're about three feet high. <laughs> <laughs> and they're very happy. Oh, good. I could feel that. That was, that was an happy message. I could feel. It. Do you want a card, by the way? Yes, please. To tell us when not. Stop. Stop, please. All right. Whoa. All right. Uh, new beginnings. Oh, very nice. Uh, so, to get rid of this stress and everything. <sighs> right, so. New beginnings, it says itself, doesn't it? You're going to have something new. Whether it's a friend, a project, or an idea, uh, or a job, anything like that, embrace it. Okay. So anything comes along that's it's different embrace it and you'll get support for it lovely okay. thank you is there anything in the pipeline or no that i'm aware of no not really okay so something might come along yeah that'd be good mm-hmm. thanks that's magic thanks very much everyone yeah. Yeah, normally when it's uh, new beginnings it's normally uh, something to do with spirituality it's normally can you know new beginnings is tends to be something to make your you 
with harmony. It harmonizes your, your balance of energies. So embrace it, whatever it is that's coming. Thank you, I will do. Thank okay. You. Rhonda would like just a card, please. Oh, hey. So instead of, hang on a second. Instead of, I'm going to forego the card, but I appreciate that. And I'm going to put Robin on it. You have some bro vibe on it, Jeff. So I take the card, but uh, I'm going to put Robin on instead. I'm here. Uh, listen, I've been just going, I've had some major anger issues come up. I cannot pinpoint it. I've done a lot of work on myself, so I don't understand. Um, they're telling me to be in the anger. I'm in it and it doesn't seem to, you know, I don't get anything from that either. Don't like being there. She's in it. Trust me. So I'm just, I'm kind of like right now, just ready to take a sledgehammer and tear my house to pieces. I am so angry at everything and this has been going on for a couple of weeks and I cannot pinpoint it. I normally do my own work, but um, I'm just not having any luck right now with everything and I could use some insight into what I need to do to where I need to be. Do you feel something? Yeah, I, I do energetic cleansing. I need to be cleansed. What? <laughs> There's something in there. There's something in the house. There's something behind you. It's not Rhonda, is it? No. There's <laughs> is something it negative. There's something. Yes. There's something there. Do, does uh, do you or Rhonda do anything in the house that's bringing in channeling and stuff like that? I mean, Rhonda and I both champ, but. Yeah, it, we do a lot of different techniques, and so that's oh, that's amazing. I I would never have thought. I that. wouldn't have thought that either, to be honest. With but you. what it can be what is, that, what it can be, you can get tricked. Even the best of us can get tricked by tricksters, really can. And I know a, I know someone at the healing sense I was, and she was connected to angels. She wasn't connected to angels. She was connected to demonic energy, pretending to be angels. And she was the best in. She was one of the best in the business. She does it as a job. I, I got a shock. So one of the ones that you were channeling may be a trickster energy pretending, and they can give you really good information. They know all the information, just like all the good ones do. But they also, when they ch when you when you're channeling them, they can also take some of your energy. And that's what they do, they're doing. Now I'm not saying it's that. Can I but, ground? Hmm. Well, can we remove it? Can we? No, I. I, I the house? Yeah, that's that's one of do my jobs. Do I do I need? That's one of my jobs anyway. Okay. So uh, you'll feel a, a different vibration. You really will feel a different vibration. No, just give me a minute. <sighs> You might feel angels in the room, by the way, in the old, by the way. I've called them in.
How do you feel now? I feel good. I feel good. Your anger should be gone. Uh, yeah, I think it is. I think it might be. Yeah, a lot of frustration, a lot of anger. Um, Negative things happening to her. Yeah. Well, that, that's because. Uh, really, sorry not spiritually necessarily but like within the within the world like uh different things going on uh, owning the problems of the world owning the problems of the world that's feeding the little gremlin that was in your house that i've thrown back in the portal and then sealed it <laughs> I, I, I didn't know they were real there you go so it was a gremlin it was like it looked like one but it was a magician one it, it, it so it could it could change it could it could disguise it as anyone it would channel in into you and was that a, to be anyone hmm? was that a portal that we created or is that like from her backyard i don't know i just saw a big portal it was like a, a portal round thing with like little like teeth around the edge it was very very weird so i threw oh. it back i threw it back in and completely disintegrated it okay thank you i don't know how it got created i don't know if you've created it accidentally or it's created it because it's uh, tapped into something you were channeling and thought hold on if you get what i mean you might have been channeling something good but it's tapped into the energy uh, field so, I mean, I try to keep my house under, you know, protection on my house. I try mm. to keep my house also myself protected. Um, I do do a lot of energy work, Reiki and things. Maybe I'm mm. not buttoning up what I should be when I'm through working in these areas. Plus, I go to clients' homes. I suppose that could be an issue. Just, just no, no, no. I, I didn't realize it wasn't. Go ahead. Just be positive with your abilities. This is just a little lesson. It just okay. be careful with your channel because uh, what happens is there's ways of tricking it. You you you, you, can, you feel the energy field around it. Feel if it's too strong, if it's trying too much. What information is it giving? Is it trying to be? And all of a sudden you start picking up. Hold on, this could be a trickster because they they know knowledge just as well as the. The, the bad ones know it just as good as the good ones. It's what they're trying to find, get. But obviously, you've channeled some that was that, or it's picked up you were channeling that. And it's followed okay. you, basically. Followed you in the uh, field. Do you want to pick a card, anyway? <laughs> okay, face. yes. Uh, uh, stop. I am actually laughing. <laughs> this is funny. Uh, manifestation. <laughs> <laughs> so I manifested this, in other words, this is what it's saying. Okay. All right. Uh, manifesting can be. Right. Manifestation. Okay. You might be planning for it. You might have a goal in life. You want to be the spiritual this or that. And you never seem to get there and this keeps you tend to have anger or problems about it but just go with it because it might not be it might be a weird path to get there but you'll get there wait a minute go with what go with the magician that no any goal that you have got okay. in spirit, say spiritual goal or whatever 
and you always get frustrated because you're not quite getting where you want to go yeah just, just let it go don't think about it just go just do what's happening and the angels will get you there it might be a different path but they'll still get you there yeah okay. but also, also manifestation what i would my personal feeling just be careful what you manifest <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Careful what you manifest. Thank you very much. Mm. <laughs> I don't think it's your anger that created it anyway. <laughs> That'd be too powerful, to be honest. Anyone got anything to say, or have you got out to say, Dad, first? Yeah, I'm mm. good. That was quite exciting actually seeing that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, I'll, I'll say actually what I did. I didn't. I didn't. What what, I, what we did because I brought in uh, a lot of angels, dragons and everything. You cre uh, we created a prism. No, I, 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 I thought a pyramid round you. No, you, your house is like a prism of glass. So these create non nothing dark will actually be able to get in now. I have never seen that. That is a new one on me as well. I'm learning a lot tonight. So they created a prism. There was about five angels creating it. I should know what they're creating, but they created something new for me tonight. And uh, then we grabbed hold of what it was and we threw it back. Where, we didn't kill it or anything. We threw it back where it came from. And then we've uh, disinte we closed the portal and then we disintegrated it so that they'll never get there again. Okay. Well, thank you, angels, and thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah, but angels in your house. <laughs> Yay! Well that's exciting. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you all. Thank you. Okay. John? Hi. Hi, David. Hi, yeah. Hi. Uh, I would like to get as kind that Last Thursday, I get my body like. It's like all my chakra is like out of balance. Right. So, okay. Yeah. Send some healing. You should be giving me healing by now, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll send you some healing. Okay. <laughs> Johnny, your higher self is to do a download after we're done with healing. Seeing that then. Oh, <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually thinking, not another one. <laughs> yes, another one. More downloads. Yeah, another download. Yeah, another download. I wonder if these downloads would sell for the next eight weeks. You're getting a purple download, a purple. Why is she getting the violet flame? <laughs> Why is she getting this? I think she does worry about it. I think she does worry about it. That's fine. Violet flame to help her in the worry work. She's getting a violet flame on the outside. Mm. What's that, that for? Her? Clean her aura fields and all the worry work she's done. Uh, so they're doing the they're doing your chakra balancing on the outside with the violet flame. Hmm. Oh, that's what it is. Do you remember your astro work, uh, John? Yeah, I I can't do it because my uh, my 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 uh, pineal is it's, it's weird. It's, it's my my dream is kind of weird this time. You're what? It's like my, my dreams. It's I, I remember and then I can't remember. I was like, uh, oh my my chakra, my my head, my crown, and my my my, my head was hurting and my throat all the way down. So my it was like imbalance. Like I was like out of balance. Like I I was driving like uh, DC. <laughs> it was like I was floating. <laughs> No, you're, you're balancing but, now. He's used, you're using the violet flame to balance your chakras right now. Can you feel it? 
Yeah, it was hot. In my back. I can see it happening How about right my, now. My back. Going... Phil's, Phil's, <laughs> Phil's doing physical healing. And Father's doing the violet flame healing on your chakras. So... Do you ever do you ever remember any of your warrior work? I don't remember anything when I wake up either. I just feel no, no. pain. I don't Joan, remember anything. Do you remember it, Joan? Ever? Uh, I I remember I remember all of them, but the uh, just this 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 week I was like all the past life coming out. So that's yeah. I, I think all the past life, life yeah. Out. Yeah, it was all the okay. past life and all Everybody's life. Everybody's thinking, okay, because your remembrance is coming. A lot of people are getting their remembrance, yeah. but the, those are the ones you need to release. Forgive and release. Send it love and release. That's why. So your past lives are coming up for a reason. Send it love and release it. Send it love and release it. Even the Helen Keller? <laughs> yes. Helen Keller? What? <laughs> Did you say Helen Keller? This for Helen Keller. And Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc, yes. Yes, re yes. Forgive them and release it. Yes. How about Helen Keller? Is that? Yes, that's amazing. <laughs> Yep. Yep. Which angel are you? I can't remember. Hmm? Joan, which angel are you? July. Which angel are you? Which angel? Oh. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Right, you've been battling on Earth, on inner Earth, and uh, you've had some scrapes, and that's why your energy's out of balance because you've been getting dense energy. You've been fighting a slightly lower dimension. These, uh, I think, uh, uh, Grays, Grays. Mm -hmm. uh, so even my my counterpart, is that what hmm? it is? Hmm. My divine counterpart. No, you. you. You've been you've been doing worry work, and okay. it's that shocking that you've been getting it. You've been asking to get it deleted a little bit the memory, so that's why you remember it and then quickly don't remember it because it's a quite graphic. Oh. Okay. And you've been getting injured, but they repair you. They repair you before they come back, but they've also been deleting your memories. So. Because I remember that my heart was like a. They they stabbed it with the. The knife. That's why. Mm. Release one. Yeah. That's the uh, the husband last Tuesday. <laughs> how Good is work. how is that there? My my heart is there. <laughs> Good work though. You're doing That's well fine. there. Because <laughs> they show it to me. I've given you healing anyway, so you should feel a lot better. Now so hot already. <laughs> your, your chakras are balanced. You're fine. Now, um, what you could do is have a pen next to you in your bed when you're in bed and then write down, <laughs> write down your memory if you really want to keep it. <laughs> okay. Okay. You take the three deep breaths so you can get your download. If you th your through your third eye, your um higher self. Yeah, your third, your downloads to do with your third eye actually. Yeah. I have to do it now or later. Do it while you sleep. You can, you can do it now or you can wait till later. Your higher self wants to do a download. 
you can do it later. Um, just connect with your higher self and then let, let her know that uh, you're ready to receive, okay? Okay. She said Thank she'll you. do it later. Just don't forget. It's a really important download. Okay. <laughs> a violet plate. So what's that for? <laughs> well, she's going to do it through your third eye and you'll it, see it. The violet flame is also because you've been come, you've, you've somehow the angel of them healed you properly when you did the uh, astro work, so you've still got uh, negative dense energy on your, in your aura field, and they've just been cleansing your aura field, basically. Oh, so that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've been. Yeah. When you when you get when you do astro tonight, okay. tell, tell them you didn't get a repair job mm. properly. <laughs> just get chills. So when you astro travel tonight, tell me yeah. repair service. You didn't do your job right. You will actually do that because you'll, 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 your soul body will. You, when your spirit goes out, your body you remember that. So yeah, yeah. Tell them to tell them to make sure that they complete it. Yeah. And don't delete the don't delete the memory. <laughs> how I do it to, to how I do it to remember it. I try and not get myself repaired, so when I come back, I have the uh, injuries. So then, that, the injuries by having them remembers what how I was gone. So if you want to remember it, don't tell them not to repair you. <laughs> I got injured. <laughs> I got a lot of bruises, though. <laughs> so that's what happened. <laughs> you want to hear? Has anyone got any yeah, questions? Please. Mm -hmm. I want to, I want to, I want a card. You know, <laughs> reading. Oh. Did I forget the card? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, tell us one. I'm sure I did this. You know, when I'm doing this, I'm trying to think what card would you have. Oh. <laughs> is it that one or is it that one? <laughs> that one. one. That one or that one? <laughs> that one. <laughs> this one? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Right. Yay. Okay. Can you change it? <laughs> oh. uh, same as last time, it worked now. It's manifestation. Yeah. You know, I, I, I keep on getting a bad back. <laughs> Manifesting well, thank you. <laughs> manifestation means basically. You have a plan, a spiritual plan. It doesn't come correct. It, does, it seems not you're not getting there. Just let it flow and don't think about it. Don't block it. Just let it go, and you'll get there eventually. It might be a, it might be a, a, a weird way of getting there, but you'll get there. So, manifestation. I don't look like manifestation. I always thought manifestation is trying to create a win on the lottery, but there you go. We'll get there. <laughs> I will one day. <laughs> Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Phil. Hello. I have a for you. Yeah. Um, what is the uh, best way to connect with your higher self? Uh, uh, when you go to bed, ask. What, what time do you go to bed? About eleven, twelve. Mm, varies at the moment, yeah. Ask him, to, ask, ask him to connect to you at 4 o'clock, 4 a.m. Right, that, that period, okay. And you'll, you'll wake up at 4 a.m. And you might not see the connection, but you'll you'll get some sort of message. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah the best I've way. had it during that period of time in the morning. Yeah, 4 a.m. Yeah, time. okay. All right. Okay, good. Yeah, excellent. You have to wait a minute. You have to take a little break. <laughs> the pause, sir. Okay. Um, so I had the notion that I needed my wanted uh, chakra balance, but um, I'm not sure. Uh, perhaps you could just take a look around. Um, see what's going on. 
I've had, a, had a very high energy across my forehead for the last two weeks, um, almost like I'm wearing something on the front of my head. Um, obviously, a lot of ringing, that incredible intense ringing um, for quite a long time. Every time I meditate, it's very quite loud almost in my ears. So, wondering what's going on, what's the best thing to be doing? Yeah, Paul, when you go and asked, how do you get connected to yourself? Have you got any ways? I said about waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning. When you go to sleep, just set your clock for the yourself to connect with you. What's your way of doing it? I just, I just, um, sorry. I just um, do the three breaths. They're, you know, to clear my head, I do the three deep breaths in and out and then i just tell my higher self i'm ready to receive okay that's it it's just intention then really isn't it that, mm. exactly right and the first time okay. i did that i saw this i got this huge download huge okay and um ever since then um she'll give me downloads or she'll let me know i'm going to give you a download or i mean I get communication from her. Right. So Rick and I share the, the same higher self. The, I, I, um, through my third eye the other night, I saw her. She actually appeared. Oh, okay. Like I saw her in in our bed. She appeared to me. It was a waving water, and I could see her, like her form. I described her to Rick, and he said, Yeah, that's her. <laughs> I was like, I'm starting to see like he does. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah. People, people. Don't try too hard, though. No. Try, try too hard, blocks you. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. try that hard. I actually saw um, an angel standing next to Ziggy's cage. I walked in the room and I saw um, Archangel Michael standing next to Ziggy because he talks to Ziggy all the time. Michael. That's the only word Ziggy says is Michael. No, 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 no. Michael. <laughs> Yeah. What does he do when he says dead? It's just, you know, he doesn't say our name. He says, Michael. Michael. This is him. So I know when Michael's here. Okay. Yeah. I'll give you, I'll give you some healing, Paula. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Is your third eye open, Paul? I don't know. <laughs> you would know, which is what I think that that pressure is. You could, you'd be able to see through it when it when it's needed to be. I think the you know the entry point for sidekick in the back of your head. I think that's a little blocked. So I'll see if I can block that. Again.
see any damage to his chakras. see that the third eye they're trying to open it. Did we move the, the effects of the vaccine the last time you, we did this? Mm, I didn't feel anything. You didn't feel anything? Um, well, in terms of the vaccine? No. Not really, I don't think. Um, no, I meant we still... The healing and everything, did you feel it? Oh. You feel it now? Feeling uh, like the top of my head, um, like, a, like I'm wearing a crown almost. Mm. Um, it's, it's, yeah, there's a lot going on at the top of my head. can feel that. Right? <sighs> what I'm picking up, I don't know if it's your yourself or a guardian, he's laughing so much that I can't, even, I can't even connect to him. But you've got like a jolly man with a, a beard. A, jo a, a laughing man with a beard. That's connected he does have to a male you. higher self. Yeah, and he's laughing. I don't know. He, I, he won't talk to me because he's laughing too much. <laughs> yeah. <Out. laughs> so it might be hard to connect to him actually, but you might get a lot of laughter connecting to him. Uh, that's all I was picking. Yeah, the uh, I would say the uh, negativity of the vax now gone. So. What I do is I put crystal source energy in a couple of cells. These are live energy, yeah? And they tap into every cell and they get rid of all the negativity part. And by you actually picking up the crown chakra, then that's fine. You, you. And also, this is also, I think, creating a link to your higher self and your guardian. I think with you feeling not what's going wrong with you, what's happening with your crown, which your back of your head is your input of your psychic ability and then just above it, which is your crown, it's, it's like a device inside your head that picks all the information from the spirit world. And that, that's why when people hear voices, they hear it in a different part of your head that you, you, when you think, you think in one part of your head, but when you get messages from the spirit world, it's another part of your head. So you might start getting voices in your head. Don't think you're going loony. Just no. sit, tap where it is, pick it up where it is, and uh, see what the message is. Okay? And then uh, view the message. If it's if it's not right, send it away. You, you've got the power to send it away. If it is right, then you, you know you're on a good one. So if the message is like, do something really dangerous, then we will send that yeah. one and pack in because I get them now and again trying to trick me but uh, and feel the energy if it feels good it must be good yeah quite often um, during that uh, sort of restful period maybe just as I've after, after I've meditated for instance I'm lying down I do experience um, a lot of intuitive thoughts mm. and the need to discern how true they are or if they're false, how accurate they are. Um, it's as if I can see the truth of something intuitively. Mm. Yeah, does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, well, we, we've, all, we've all got that. Yeah. Right. Um, so, um, did you say, though, Deb, that you felt there was some damage to the, to the chakras in some way? 
No. No. No, there was nothing wrong with your chakras. Um, no. I know that your third eye is um, there. There, you're feeling the pressure here because that your um, higher self is trying to push it open. They're trying to open it so that you're you're able. They're trying to do downloads there. Right. Um, what you what you can do while you meditate, create a switch on and off switch for your uh, third eye. Yeah, for your input and output. So you can turn it on and off just by saying I want it to be, you know, by, just by intention. Yeah. Well, I, I suppose, Phil, I don't know whether I want it on or off, when I want it on and off. <laughs> you, you, you can pick, you can pick off, but if you want it on, turn it on. Well, I like, yeah. I'd like, I, I mean, I enjoy the experience of um, things that are multi-dimensional. Um, yeah. Um, that's an area that I'm interested in. Um, I'm particularly interested in perhaps creating a new kind of art at the moment, which would incorporate magic into it. Energy into it. Yeah. With some kind of magic energy into yeah. it, which yeah. I think I was always trying to do for a long time, but sometimes achieved, didn't quite know how to do it, but I felt that it was reality kind of changing art. It's, it's a difficult thing to describe, but when people would look at it, it would shift something in reality. Um, so it's a kind of conceptual art. Um, but it just had that notion that there's something that could be done uh, um, as this new energy comes in to the world. Um, a new kind of art that gives information about our uh, ascendancy, for instance, could be created, but I'm not quite sure what that would look like quite at the moment. I don't know if any of that makes sense to you, but... <laughs> yeah? You want a card? That'd see be nice. Get, see if you get spiritual growth or art. Well, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Tell us what. Okay. Um, now. Stop. Harmony. Harmony. Yeah. Oh, that's, that feels good. That is very good, actually. Harmony. Yeah. That's the type okay. of card I would want. Uh, yes, yeah, bringing all these things together in yeah. harmony. Yeah. Let, let go of all your troubles. Just yeah. sweep, it, sweep them away, blow them in the wind. And uh, the angels said they will, uh, they will make sure that you, you are, yeah, yeah, you've got harmony. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent card. Anyone want Thanks. to add to that? Try and connect to your higher self later and um, get a download. Try and get a download. Um, do it. Try doing it my way um, if you can. Uh, right after you meditate. Uh, actually, if you, if you don't, if you if you're gonna, have you meditated today, Paul? I meditate every day, twice a day. Um, so that seems to be my go-to place for doing everything, really. So after you meditate, you're already connected. Um, then just ask your higher self to. Um, I'm ready. Tell your higher self that you're ready to receive after you've done meditating, and um, see if you feel a download going in. Um, your third eye is, if you're feeling pressure there, um, I'm pretty sure your third eye is open. I think it's just you thinking it's not open. Well. And especially just, now since he's he's removed the, um, the blockage that was caused by the vaccine. So all of the harmful effects of it is gone. So your third eye should, is probably wide open now. Hmm. I'm wondering why I had the vaccine to start with. Yeah, you've just woken up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, a lot of the, the world is in like an hypnosis state. That's why. Yeah, sure. It's been a 16 month hypnosis. Hmm. It's like the ones who haven't had it are wondering why aren't people awake? Why can't they see it? it it's, it's shocking. It? It, it's shocking to us, isn't it? Yes. We, we just can't believe how, it's like my, my daughter had it three weeks ago and I, I've given her all the information and I'm thinking, 
she's got a master's degree why why don't you study it but it, it is it's like an hypnosis it, it, hypnosis and nothing will stop people taking it yeah is, is, is it not because you know we're trying to understand it on different levels aren't we mm. i mean she would try to understand it on the level that things that can be seen and you're talking about things that can't be seen mm. It's, they're, they're trying to kill the population, you know, and these are the people and it, it, this thing is, I don't know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to bore people yeah. getting into the politics of it, but. Yeah, because some people might have had it here. It is reversible spiritually, so that's good. Spiritually, but uh, not, that's, that's, not everybody. That's not a good you said, that hasn't it, Phil? That if you, if you did it and then you think, oh, that was maybe an error. It's not irreversible that we had the ability to clear all these things. Mm. Uh, <laughs> we won't go there. <laughs> we should have a Zoom on, on the vaccine, shouldn't we? <laughs> yeah, I know you're reluctant to talk about these things, but um, mm. uh, it seems to pop up every now and again. Mm. You brought it up. <laughs> I'm not reluctant to talk about it. My husband's reluctant to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay. He doesn't like talking about politics and the, I'll talk about it all day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But Paul, I've got I've got some groups on it. Uh, I know everything about it, but I, I can't say it because it's an healing, an healing of yeah. it. Yeah. I have a ton of information on, on the vaccine, tons of it. So if you, anybody mm. ever wants it, I have a, I have pages. And I, well, I've, got, I've got my own group, so you can even join that. So. Yeah. Well, send me a link to it. I appreciate okay. it. Yeah. I've got uh, I've got Facebook and Telegram. So. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll um, I'll email you. Yeah. yeah. Tele Telegram is a bit more. You can say well, anything on Telegram. Facebook. Yes. You got to watch what you say on Facebook. Yes. Well, I used the one that Reinhardt gave me, the uh, Proton. You, uh, remember Reinhardt, you sent me an, an email on, on Proton, yeah, so I'll use that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, when you use Proton, it's, it is, uh, two people are using Proton, that's, that's better. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you once again. You're welcome. Okay, Reverend Dr. Miaz, not as. Hello. I probably I, screwed up your name. I'm sorry. It's okay, Michelle works. Did you guys want to do um, Bura first? She was waiting. Oh, okay. I'll go first. Thanks. You want some healing? Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, okay. Just relax. Michelle, I'm getting sinus and ears and
né? Even your jaw. My neck, my jaw. My I'm, getting, I'm getting pressure in your sinus and even in like even slight ear aches, your neck bothering you and into your shoulders. Almost like you need a someone to crack your neck, like you've got a knot in your neck. Hmm. Down to your back. This is what father's telling me that he's going to, he's doing healing. Do you have that sinus issues? Allergies? Um, I sleep with a CPAP because I stop breathing at night. And my lower extremities don't work most often. My, my bladder and my colon and all that area. You have nerve damage in your back? Yes. Can you feel that energy? Yes, thank you. When someone needs a lot of energy, you can actually feel it. And you're drawing so much out, you really do need a lot.
Okay, Michelle. Yes. The um, some of these ailments you asked to experience in this life, the, the um, the CPAP one is something that you asked to experience these. So you may have to stay with that, but your back, the nerve damage is that that's been healed. Um, yeah, I think it's yeah. come over. I think it's come over here. Yeah. I'm in agony. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm in a lot of pain. I'm in a lot of pain. Neck, by everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I, I, it's not mine. I don't own it, so I can yeah, get rid of it. But <laughs> I don't mind the, the pain I felt. It's intense. Yeah, I can hardly move me. Uh, the spirit of world, well, well t t t I had all uh, movement on my arms. So, so someone from your guides or somewhere gave me a message to say, Have, do a bit of self-love. You need self-love. You need to love, love yourself more. Yeah. Try and ignore the pain. Do a bit of self-love because love can counteract pain and negativity. Sorry, Dad, do you want to go on? I was just doing a bit of time. So. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't like being human sometimes. Yeah, I understand. Mm. Need to let that pain. How does it feel now? Should have, a lot of that should have gone because I've got it. I still feel it, but... It's eased off a lot. Feels like the lower back, my lower spine. Kind of feels like when it hurts, it feels like it's going to explode from the inside. Hmm. And that's been healed. That's been healed. Your nerve damage has been healed. Um, I, so you shouldn't be feeling that, but you have to accept the healing. Hmm. Oh, I'm so, accepting any healing I can get. I was just telling the truth. I still feel it. Yeah. Okay, that's it, fine. It, sometimes the memory of it also lingers in the yeah. mind. <clears throat> the healing carries on for a week, seven days. It does. Three yeah, months. the healing stays so, with you for a week. So you might feel better every day. Well, one thing that I was told, do you uh, take on people's pain? Do you try and help people? I think that's what you're doing. You're taking on that pain. Do you, Michelle, are you listening? Mm. Yes, I'm listening. Yeah. Do you do you take on other? Are you an empath? I am an empath, and I always send peace, love, and light waves throughout the universe. Do you know how to read? The pain. Yeah. Do you do you take on other people's pain? Not intentionally. <laughs> Because I, I think you do. Uh, we think that you do, and you and you you need to release it. And I don't think you uh, maybe um, do you have any uh, crystals at home that you can release the pain into, and then put them outside to, to drain them, or um, I can try that. Yeah, or put your hands on a tree to release the pain into the tree, or some kind of piece of wood to drain to get rid of the pain too because you're taking on other people's and what happens is it, is it's like suitcases piling up on top and eventually it's going to topple um when when we're i'm an empath as well and, and it's so i used to take on all these burdens of everybody and i didn't I didn't even realize i was doing it either and it just becomes overwhelming so you need to when somebody, even even someone talking to you about their problems can turn into pain and you don't know it. So if somebody comes to you with their issues, you need to release it. As soon as they walk out your do their, the door, you need to release their issues. They're not yours. If you're doing it very similar what I've just done to you. I've took your pain off. So I'm now grounding it into the, I'm actually got my hand on the crystal grounding it. Now, if the person you are doing it to has got very same energy signatures, like the same uniform, it can stick a little bit. 
because the, the pain doesn't realize it's on a different body. It, it, so I know it sounds complex, so that's how I look at it. So you're doing really, you're healing people and you don't realize it, but you're also taking their pain by healing people and so it's transmitting over and you're keeping over the negativity of the pain. So you need to ground it in crystals or in trees or, ground, or do meditation and ground it. Yeah, I'm better now. Yeah, that's it, that's I'm, better. Better. Yeah, I'm better now. <laughs> Did you get that? Sorry. No, no, it's fine. I'm an healer. I, I, I've done it for 50 years. It doesn't really, you know, I'm used to it. So it's fine. At least it doesn't stay. That's, as long as I can get rid of it, I'm, I'm okay with it. So, yeah. Same thing happens to my husband. Yeah. Same thing happens to Rick. Yeah. He can fix on, especially somebody that's got cancer or something like that. All of a sudden, he'll start getting sick. Mm -hmm. So, I put my hand on someone yesterday that had cancer, or day before yesterday. I'm not sure if I have cancer. I always think positive mindset stops you getting it. Be positive. You haven't got it. That's what you got to say. Well, good. To well, that's the case that I don't have it. Yeah. That's how you work out. How about a skin lesion? Yeah. People who think they've got something can manifest the problem. So, you don't want to do that. You want a car, I don't know if I had anything. Mm. I woke up with a really intense pain in my back, near my ribs. And um, I have been told I had uh, growth in my lungs. Well, four of them. Two in my throat and two in my lungs. And they had shrunk. The um, my medicine doctor, my natural medicine doctor, gave me um, RSO oil, and that shrunk them. And then it, I used to have an enlarged heart, but they say it's a normal size now. Last time I checked. Um, but when I quit taking the medicine, I guess it came back. It helps keep my tumors at bay. Hmm. Is that like a, a natural remedy? It's a, yes. Yeah, they're the best. Yeah. Right, do you want to pick a card? Um, sure. Where's one? Now? Self-acceptance. Self-acceptance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, I'm sure that's... One minute, let me just... Self-acceptance. Yeah, you are far too difficult on yourself. Yeah, start loving yourself. Stop being so serious. So self-love, that's exactly the same message that I was given. So instead of trying to help people, heal them and everything, start healing. You, you're, you, you should be number one for yourself. Start self-love. So the card I just picked is the, the card I got the message earlier. So that's quite good. Yeah. Quite, Thank quite, you. quite amazing actually. Yeah. So, yeah. Any questions? By anyone? So you were on Rick Simpson oil. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that well, a good uh, one? Uh, I knew I knew it's from some place. Canadian guy. Friend of mine's old neighbor. Oh, okay. Yeah, he lives in Europe now. He can't. He tried to arrest him in Canada. So yeah, I heard. A long time ago. Now it's legal in the United States to smoke it. I mean, I live in Arizona. They leave you know how a prescription to get it. Where are you? Georgia. Oh, yeah. Well. And then even then, it's hard to find. Sure, well, no. Yeah. 
if you lived in Vegas, there's a guy I know there that has it. Yeah. I don't know anybody that has it around in Arizona or anything. It takes a long time to make it. It's really detailed. You can find the recipe online. But it's, it costs a lot to make it because you got to, I mean, the, the process is unbelievable. I have not. Yeah. What is that, uh, Deb? It's, uh, it's um, cannabis oil. Uh, yeah. Well, I can get you some tomorrow night if you want some. I'm gonna send it. Back. It's a process to make it. It takes cures it, it, it takes twelve hours. They've got to uh, do a lot of different stages. Yeah, it's the, the original Rick Simpson oil, the guy that uh, mm. had that made the cure. Uh, and illegal in this country still, but I can still get you some. It's <laughs> legal here. You can you can smoke it. And you can grow it. No. Yeah, well, you, here you can't have the strong one, the one that actually does get rid of all the cancers and everything, it's crazy. The one that does all the curing, you can't you can't use that one, you can't get it. So then you've got to ask a friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It, takes, right. it, it takes a lot of leaves to actually get the oil. I know. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. I know. I know. My niece works at a farm up in Colorado. And yeah, it does wonders. It's a wonder drug. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Anybody That's have funny. any um, questions or, uh, sorry, answers that they want to uh, help Michelle with? Diane said earlier, she said, please check for a soul jumper that can move out and back into the body. It can jump to others, but likes their energy because she's unaware. I'm not sure what that means. That was for, um... That was for uh, Paul, but did we answer that one? No, that wasn't for Paul. It was for, um... Diane. No, it was for... Uh, Diane was talking about it, but it was for, the, um... The woman that had the eye, hmm. one in the eye, I think. Hi, hello. Hello. It's Diane. Um, and that was when I first came on way back at somewhere around one o'clock or so. You were yeah. working with somebody and you passing out, um, I mean, getting energies out of her. And um, Deb, you were, you were watching her you know, watching, I don't see, but I feel. And what I felt was that there was an energy that was hiding and it, it's, and, and I call them soul jumpers. I don't know what they're actually called, but I was dealing with one for oh. a very long time. And yeah. I had, you know, there, and uh, I finally, uh, I finally cover, you know, blanketed it with uh, love light or light love rather. And it, that automatically transmutes it so that they leave of their own volition. Mm. But I had seen that coming and that's what I did for her while you were doing the healing with whatever was there. And I had done that for, and, and I don't even know who she was, but you guys are amazing. Oh, at Rhonda's. Oh, that was at Rhonda's house, uh, where Rhonda uh, was. Oh, like, I just happened. lost you. Okay. Um, yeah. Hold on, John. Where are we? <sighs> No, it wasn't Rhonda's house, it was the one earlier. No, no, this was somebody who was, um, oh darn it, I guess um, I'd have to go back and take a look, somewhere around the it, town. It, it, it was the one that was there and not there. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, um, we, didn't it, pick, we didn't pick it up and then we picked it up. I get that. Yeah, so, but it, it was okay, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I think you guys are amazing. Um, we have, my husband and I have participated in every one of your healings and I find it absolutely incredible for as long as you have been on that everybody that you deal with, they get full and complete healings in every way that they need. And it's been incredible to watch. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I was gonna type it right at the end, but as long as I have you on, I'm just gonna say it because I think it's incredible. And you've done some amazing work here with everybody so um yeah that's all i got to say about that so 
thanks for um, holding space and helping us too. Yeah, well, Thank that's, you. that's kind of what we do. <laughs> so, um, anyway, all right. Is it, uh, there's a message from. I change. Ah, it's gone. I think we've got um, Denise's husband. That's it. Oh, let me turn it over. Hold on. <laughs> Hi, hi, Deb. Hi, Rick. Hi, Phil. Hi, uh, Thank you all for everything. <laughs> you need some healing. Which side is it? Is it your left side? My um, right shoulder and my um, uh, right uh, rib cage. Mm. And. Okay. Uh, Mm, you, got somebody, you got somebody in your rib cage. Yeah, you know when I was looking at his, I was looking at his left side from my point. <laughs> that interests me, rather. Right? I'll give you some healing. Yeah. You just relax. What sort of the uh, problems are if you can? It's a, it's a young, it's a young boy. Said so he's fourteen years old. He's gonna release himself. You have to believe who's helping him, taking him. His fairy. He <laughs> <laughs> said that is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I've never had a fairy help before. He, he said that was like his eye is like. That is so cool. I didn't know fairies existed. Said, yeah. He said, "This is." I said, "This is your fairy." He goes, "Can you take me?" I said, "Yeah." So he was ready to go. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to get some. You're going to feel some heat as we repair the area.
Okay, and now the shoulder. Do you get pain? Do you get pain here? Yes. Um, yeah. The uh, point <laughs> going, shooting to the uh, right, but it's <laughs> most uh, on the right side and uh, the uh, the edge of the uh, shoulder. Okay. I'm getting here. I'm getting a past life. Mm. <laughs> I'm getting a past life. Well, they're all coming up. You were, a, it was a female actually, past life, that got cut up and uh, badly. Uh, it's been released. And uh, I don't know why you still hold it onto the residue of that, but you did. But the old arm came off and everything. Oh, thank you. It's like it's been like weeks that I can't seem to uh, uh, shake it off or get rid of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, these anything that's that needs to be released is coming up now just to get rid of it. Anything, so that's why you're getting this pain, and then that's why you're here today, is to release it. So now it's all going to be gone. So all that healing is happening. So some people might say, why does a past life come at a certain age? And it's because of your past life of that age is when it happened. Yeah. yeah. So oh, like, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It, the, the memory of the age comes through with the pain. Yeah. Yes, that but makes sense. Who of you need to connect with your higher selves today at some point? however you connect with your higher selves to get your downloads mm. very important downloads i'm here to remind you you should be selling them G uh, Deb. <laughs> <laughs> get, get your downloads <laughs> how's your arm now you're, you sure? you're telling me remind them about their downloads they need to get their downloads <laughs> how, how's the pain now is it mostly dispersed yes it's it's uh, it was swirling earlier and it seems like uh, it's starting to release but it's still lingering on my uh, neck, neck area <laughs> There's still some kind of energy that's still uh, stuck on my neck that doesn't seem to uh, it's great <laughs> yeah, the even asked uh, so it uh, takes days sometimes just to release all right. it all yeah. yeah relax thank you thank you. relax your neck and your <laughs> arm because that healing is going to continue for the next week mm -hmm. and, and make sure that you're releasing that um past life did you tell them about it yeah. sorry <laughs> it, it, does he have to do anything does he have to forgive it release it I don't know. <laughs> I released a lot of the residue from it. Okay. Yeah, I asked Denise to give you a massage. <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> You're right. Thank you. Well, mm -hmm. You're welcome. <laughs> what, what you could do is, if you if you do any meditation, just try and connect with that life. And try and get give it love. See if there's any any fragmentation. So, uh, and then just bring it back and and forgive the ones who did it. The main one is to forgive the person or people who did, who did the problem, and then the problem goes to their soul, sort of thing. And you cleared it. From, yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Any questions, Daniel? Uh, that was my uh, main concern, where uh, I can't seem to uh, get rid of it, and it's just that lingering uh, uh, discomfort. <laughs> and and uh, sometimes you feel that uh, that swirling. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You are a card. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right now. So stop. Yeah. 
Can we, is that a stop or should I carry on? You wanted a card? Denise? Denise? Yes? Is that one a stop? Oh, is this for me or him? <laughs> Either one. You're gonna you're gonna tell him when to stop. Whoever says stop is the one. <laughs> June, tell him when to stop. Stop. <laughs> Intention. Intention. There you go. Intention. It's his intention to have his wife give him a massage. All <laughs> <Yeah>. ah. <laughs> right. Intention. Take. Look at yourself. Look at now. Look at the future. Do a get a set plan, a goal. That's what intention means. See? The intention of your future goal, set some it it's in the rock that you're aiming for. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> hey Denise, do you want to go or? Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> Is that a stop? That was a laugh. <laughs> You go ahead and say stop. Okay, stop. <laughs> Manifestation. Okay. <laughs> uh, manifestation. Uh. <laughs> you know, I don't even think manifestation matters for you, actually. You got plans, they might change, but you'll end up going where you are. But I think you'd laugh even if it was whatever it was. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't even think it matters, does it? <laughs> but you, you go, hmm? Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, if you set a goal, both, you know, it, you should get there in a roundabout way. I believe that. Thanks. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, Deb. Thank Thanks, you, guys. <laughs> welcome. Let's see. iPhone wants healing for the daughter. Sorry. Um, ever since you guys did my healing, there's something like caught in my left shoulder blade and it's been so painful that's why i haven't been on video because i've literally been trying to like work it out like i don't know like it was just stuck whatever it is but i touched you both to let you know okay but i'm gonna give them to my daughter okay, okay. hello um, hello <laughs> And she say hello again because we didn't see her. Hi, hello. Hi. What's your name? What's your name? Abriana. Do you want some healing? Is that okay? What was that? I'll send some healing to you. I'll also send some to your mum as well at the same time. Okay. You just close your eyes and tell us what you feel. Okay. What did you put in your coffee that would make it so
Was your name Adriana? Adriana. Uh, Adriana? Yeah. And I have a channeling for you from Creator, Father, God, whatever name you want to give him. And he wants to tell you that he loves you, but he wants you to love yourself too. He wants you to love yourself first. As much as he loved you, you have to love you. And in order for you to love yourself, you have to love yourself enough not to be in a relationship that's going to be harmful to you. Do you understand that? Yes. So love yourself enough so that we can, as much as we can heal you physically, we can't heal you and heal you and heal you and heal you until you love yourself enough to heal yourself. There's nothing we can help you with until you are willing to help yourself first. You're never alone. You have angels and guides with you all the time. Do you know that? You have guides with you that are dancing in front of you all the time saying, let me help you, let me help you, let me help you. One's name is Greg. Another one's name is Laura. Call on them. Tell them to find your joy. Tell them to find your joy for you. Laura was my grandmother's name who passed away when I was pregnant for my second daughter. What year was that? Um, 2020, same year I lost my husband. Mm. Too soon. It's 
it's hard for you to um, feel their emotional support and their strength. It's even hard for you to feel the healing right now. That's okay. Everybody in this room right now is is sending their love to you. Everybody. They all want you to know how much you're loved. They all want you to know that you're never alone. You're very important. Please don't forget that. Please put yourself first. So that you can take care of your children. There's nothing you can do to stop my love. Nothing. He stopped talking. What I picked up, uh, what I picked up is when you start loving yourself and you, you let the pain leave you, surrender it, let it go, forgive everyone who's hurt you, you've got a, quite a powerful gift, spiritual gift, and you already have an idea you've got one, but it's a lot more powerful than you can ever imagine, but you've got to just get through this. Look, as Deb said, love yourself. You're more important than anyone. Love yourself. You got to do that so that you can get healthy enough to start taking care of your, get strong enough so that you're taking care of your children and you're moving on with your life. You can't keep living in the past. You can't keep bringing up and being living in misery. This is a temporary situation. This is a temporary life. We're here to, we're here as volunteers. This isn't even, this is not our real lives. We don't have to realize this. This isn't our real lives down here. We're here as volunteers. This is a temporary life. The real reason we came is coming up soon. The battle is just beginning. We've got to get our strength together. Right, I've, ju I've just done three cards for you. First one is retreat. That means you need to love yourself and have a break, have like a, an holiday, have 
have some laughter in your life, enjoy yourself. The next thing if you do that is begin new beginnings. New beginnings is a new opportunity. Something else will come around and what's happened in the past, you, you should this should make you forget. And the next one is romance. So you'll meet someone. Okay. I've just done them three cards. I've manipulated them. Cards can, don't really you know, they just do what you you want them to do. So what I would suggest now is to have a bit of fun. Look for fun. Yeah? Whether it's in the park, whether it's with your children, you know, become the child within. To become like your children. Have a, enjoy yourself. I know it's difficult, but that, that's what the cards are saying. Retreat is definitely a break. You need a break, an holiday, even a, a walk in the park with your children. Breath of fresh air. Don't dwell on the past. Move forward, and then you'll have a new beginnings, and you'll meet. It looks like you meet someone, and that meeting romance is basically someone that's okay. It's good for you. Okay. Has anybody got anything else to say? No, he didn't. Did he? I feel like whatever she's going to be working on is going to help um, other people. Like the card that I got, it's this woman that's giving herself a hug, but like down the hallway she goes, she finds her inner strength by inspiring others because you're going to transform the people that you meet. Um, it says you're able to lead others and your strong presence influences them and the overall energy of stardom. So I feel like this new spiritual gift that's coming in is going to help you and if your status is going to change. It's going to be kind of exciting with all this creative energy coming in. Much so. Thank you. Thanks, Gabriel. Right, Deb, can we move forward? Oh, by the way, them cards that you just got were the best card. They were perfect. You couldn't have gotten any better. Hey, guys. Gabriel. Did you say I'm next? Yes. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. All right. Hi, everybody. Mm -hmm. um, I was wondering um, if I could have um, a scan. I had a feeling something maybe from like a past life where my higher self wanted to say something. I was tempted to say that option, but I'm going with Feeling scans. Let's see what comes up. Thank you. I'm not sure how this works. Is it me and you on the camera, or? Hmm? Uh, on, on the computer. On, on a com yeah, on a computer. On a computer, I see everyone, but on a phone, you just see one person. Oh, okay. So, Gabriel, you want you want Gabriel? You want some healing? Yeah. Yes, please. And uh, a past life clearing. Have you tried clearing the past life? I've been working on past life clearings. Me? Okay. Oh, sorry. Hold on. I'm gonna get the phone back to my mom. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>
like a real strong like healing energy coming down like a pillar or something. also has violet flame energy on the outside healing her I remember you talking about that so it's healing the outside of your and your causal body on your and your um aura your auric field okay your chakras to speak, Deb, or do you want to carry on? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you, yeah, the past life was a my own past life, it's just been cleared. But I was more interested in the Egyptian past life, but you were uh, like a god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a session with David and I found out that I have a aspect of Isis or I was. I, I didn't. I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty recent. I haven't really told anybody. I was kind of trying to <laughs> just wrap my head around that, and mm. so. And I, and I come out with it as well. Yeah. Uh, been, yeah. Go ahead. I actually saw it. you. Was, you stargated here. It was quite interesting. You're male, definitely male. I was trying to work that one out, but yeah, it's just yeah. What does that mean? Aspect. I stargated here. I know Stargate is like a choice, a doorway. Uh, yeah, yeah, like a portal from uh -huh. a, a, from outside to here, and you were like a god to the Egyptians. Oh, okay. Quite, quite amazing. Uh, your Mayan was the, the the problem with your shot was the Mayan part, but but then it went on to this other life, which was a lot more interesting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, which uh, the, let me see it all. And they want to connect, that aspect wants to connect to you. That's it. Okay. Connect. All right. And how did you get your tarot cards? 
Are they tarot or oracle? Um, I have both. And I've been working with the Isis Oracle like lately since I found that out. I had ordered it before I found out. Right. And then the, the problem you got, you ordered it. You don't order it. You get someone else to go for you. Okay. You, Can you, you say that part again? You you get someone else to get you the cards. Oh, instead of doing my own readings? Okay. So, no, no, instead of buying it yourself, you ask someone else to let them pick and choose and give, get you the cards. Oh, okay, like good luck. I've heard that before. You've heard that before. Yeah. It, it's, it's like an energy thing. It means that you don't own the cards as such. Someone else purchased them. So you're not like, you don't conflict your own mind with them. They are working for you, but are separate from you, if you get all that. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm still like processing that, but I'm going to rewatch that. Yeah. It's, co that it's, com it's complex. Don't buy your own cards. <laughs> yeah. Let someone else buy them for you. Okay. Got it? <laughs> gotcha. So don't purchase yeah, your own I've cards. I've been trying not to buy anymore because I have a few more than a few. Well, yeah, well, 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 them ISIS cards would be better if someone else had bought them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I it could be the same ones. The energy, the, the energy is wrong when you buy your own. Yeah. Okay. So what do I do with, since I've already purchased? Like Give them right? away. <laughs> <laughs> you can trade with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. There's something to think about. I've invested a lot in the cards. Like I thought that was gonna be my route and then I've been like other things have been popping up, like galactic energy healing or white language, like so I was like oh, no, the, the, car, the cards are fine. It's just don't don't own the cards, let them be a gift from someone. Okay. Gotcha. Even if you've got to pay the person to get you the cards, it's still. But well, again, that still is. Try and get someone to get it as a present. You know, it, it's another birthday present. It's ISIS. Hello, birthday mother. Present. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Okay. Just say to him, it's ISIS's birthday, so I need some cards. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, he awesome. does want to connect to you. Very much. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Phil. I'll have to have a word with Dave about that. That was quite amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite amazing. Well done. But well, well, I was I was actually seeing Egypt. I was seeing you were like uh -huh. nine feet tall, and it was quite amazing. Quite quite amazing to have a mind's eye to actually see that of your aspect. Yeah. yeah. But for me to see it, it means that he wants to he's come forward to connect to you. Okay. Yeah, okay. I want that as well. So I'll yeah. do that. Okay. okay. Rick and Deb, did you have anything you wanted to say? Do you want a card, by the way? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Sorry, Phil. No. Now. Now. Uh, Isis says, um, uh, Amini, I, I don't even think, I, I think you get that anyway. Yeah, finding a harmony, yeah. balance. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, the, um, okay. healing, the, the healing that um, I saw was to the outside, was um, all of your chakras and um, repairing the auric field. And it was all with the violet flame. I didn't have any messages on the inside. And the last message, of course, is your higher self. Connecting with your higher self and getting your downloads. Okay. Yeah. Very important. <laughs> yes. I accept. Uh, As a just... they will be downloaded. Yeah. The harmony means basically get, get rid of your troubles. Any troubles, get rid of it somehow. Right. The angels will guide you how to do that. Okay. Yeah. 
Thank you. I appreciate it, you guys. Always. Much and, love. Um, everybody that oh, yeah. wanted, um, well, Zach is gone. Don's gone. He, Don, I wanted to heal him earlier, and he said, I'll be here, I'll be here, don't worry. He's gone. Um, and he needed knee, knee healing. Um, Michelle, you said your friend Burrow was there? Yes, ma'am. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Here. Hello, Hello Burra. How are you? Good. Let's see. You want healing, yes? Is there any particular healing you, you need? I got an answer yes there. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was wondering if I can get like a scan yes. over my head and my body and see what comes up. Mm -hmm. And you want some healing, yeah? Yes. Yes, please. Deb, we can heal Don after this. We don't, you don't have to be here. You see in the back of her head, Phil. Along the neck. It looks like somebody's trying to put an implant in her. You see what I'm talking about? Kind of looks like the one that they tried to do on Reinhardt. You have I pain. Do you have pain on the hand as well? I have a my right my my right side is completely my shoulders right here. My face feels like there is a person, a bean or something right here. In my whole and my my head yeah like it, it looks like they're trying to put an implant in here there's it there's looks there's a in the back of your neck in the at the, at the base of your head mm -hmm. there's this thing that looks like they're trying to put this implant in your head it, and it's like a um i can't even describe it does it look like a tiny little remote or like a device or something? It looks like the brace for like a, like the, the, the I can't, how do I describe this thing? It's like a, a wiring. It's what a wiring. Yeah. 
yeah. like the, the bracket of, uh, at the beginning of it, like the bracket, and it looks like something could clip in there, or but there's it, it, there's no wiring yet, or there looks all there isn't. It, it looks like you could, and it has this little square box, like they could plug something in there, um, but it's a contraption, and I'm asking for you and I to dismantle this thing and get it out of there. Deb, can I just, I'll just do some healing, but I'll, I'll try and find where it goes and try and get rid of it. Get rid of the beings that are doing it. Yeah. Okay. So you might feel a bit weird in a minute. <clears throat> I would remind you that it's the same what I had. Yes. Mm. Archangel Michael's here. Uh, he's going to use that sword. I'm using mine. <laughs> and it's not a competition. <laughs> I'm already using mine. I'm at the uh, base fairly so. Okay. Let's just it's actually a cave. Okay. You may feel heat in that area. That's a good feeling. It's not it's not a bad feeling. It's a good thing. So now you got two archangels working on it. Thank you. Not a bad thing. That's a good thing. I appreciate it. Archangel Michael worked on mine too, so he knows it. Right, so now this area is going to be healed. Do you feel some warmth there? Mm, not yet. I mean, I feel warmed all day long, every day. So it's okay. Yeah, so I'm not right this It's, right it's, it's gone I'm, now. It's gone. It's gone. Okay. So okay. It's gonna, the healing is going on now. So all the repair and all the nerve endings are being repaired. <laughs> Sorry. There's all something. The nerve, all, the nerve ending, everything, all the nerve endings and all the all the repairs, all the nerve endings and, uh, and everything that's supposed to be where it's supposed to be is being put back in place. Okay. So, um, there is something here, right here. I'm not sure. Because it's like a, when I wash my face or something, it's almost like I'm squeezing on someone else's face in my face. And I feel all this fluid, so I'm not sure what that is. It, it'll feel normal after all the healing from that. Because what that did was it was the nerves that it was pressed against. And so all this, as the healing happens, mm -hmm. all of that will go away. Because it, it was all the nerves going, you know, all in here that okay. affected it in your face. So. Okay. And there's also something in my eyes that I can't sleep. It's that scratching my eyes constantly in my eye socket. So when I close my eyes, it's it feels like there's someone else's eye in my eye. You know, if you can yeah. see anything. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's an attachment. There's somebody in there. So we're going to take him out. You have a, an attachment, um, a lost soul. Is that somebody part of who, my? Is that part of my soul, or just right? No, 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 no. It's somebody who died and didn't know where to go. Okay. So he didn't know where to go to the light, so he attached to you. Okay. So. 
He was trying to help you, actually. Oof. This healing on your nerves will probably take a few days, actually. Yeah. You've done a lot of damage, though. His name is Marvin. Do you know what? Didn't I told you that was a Marvin? I had, um, I, cause sometimes I can, I mean, I speak, I say I talk to myself and I will ask questions like, what is that? Who is doing that? Why is that happening? And in my dream, I saw a Marvin, a little, it, it came like a little guy, like a little young child or something. And he said his name was, is that Marvin or I had Marvin or something like that? That's, so his, I was name. That's his name, Marvin. He would, well, he answered you. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can, my, my, my stomach, like my, from my solar plexus to my heart and the back of my heart, it's like something is crashing because I've seen it. I've seen in my, in my vision, it's almost like a hand doing this. Exactly. It, it, it's the same thing. It's the uh, attachment of it's. Uh, it's the controllers from the base that I've just visited. Oh, thank yeah. you. Thank it's you. Just con uh, trying to control it. If you know what I mean, manipulate it. I don't know why. I don't know why we have to plants actually. The, the beings I've never seen before. I know they're controlled by by the Greys, and we were in like a cave with like high tech in them. But they were like paid employees for. Them. They were controlling them and they look really, really weird, very weird. And mm -hmm. then they don't exist anymore. So. Okay, so that is no longer there in my back? Mm, well, e even where, it, where even the end user, it, it, that's all gone, all the base is gone and everything. Well, that part of the base anyway. Yeah, it's like a competition with me and Michael. Eh? <laughs> quite, quite good fun, that was. <laughs> okay. Um, I are you talking that it was the um, the ones that were putting in this this thing in her head? Yeah, I, I went to the base. It was controlling it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I might as well get the route to it as well. So, they were. I can't even describe how they were weird. They look like monsters. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. That's what I see. I see. That's what I see too. When I see, because I've seen different. Um, aspect of it, if you would say, yeah. and they don't look. They they look, they look like what what you, I mean. They look just like that, and I've seen it several. We, we, we don't look like the monsters you see on TV. They look very no. very. No 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 no. It's not no. It's different mm. from what I've seen. I'm sure yeah. what you're seeing is way different. It's the well, actual. You, you've got a mind's eye. You can actually see stuff with your mind's eye, so that's quite a gift that you've got there. And you, you just think it's a normal thing, but that's a very, very good gift you've got. Yeah. So you, 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 the reason why you know it's there is because you've got a mind's eye. You've picked everything up yourself. You've seen the signs, and you've given us the SP on it. So that's good. And I think um, there is, I call it like a cloud or like a shade in my mind's eye. When I close my eyes, it's like this this smoky cloud that just surrounds me i can't see so it's almost like i have to really walk my mind side or that's that's the energy trying to dampen yours that's what it is they know you've got a very powerful gift that they're probably channeling your energy as well but they know you got so they're trying to dampen you down trying to stop you having that spiritual connection yeah. okay yeah. Okay, so your eye, Marvin is gone. He went to the light. Thank you. Your eye is healed. The other nerve damage, it, it, you've got six days of healing that's going to continue. Drink some nice clean water that you've put good energy into. Before you drink it, picture a white light or positive energy in your, in your water and then drink. <coughs> Um, so this healing will, like I said, continue for six days. Have you got any more, Phil? 
No. Well, the the, the, ba- the people who are doing that are, are, don't exist now. Well, the ones who are running the show. So. Okay. Yeah. There is also this um, feeling in my stomach. It's like a growling, but not your typical when you're hungry growling. It sounds like an actual being growling. I think so, your chakras are out of line as well. Okay. I think it, but the effects of the implant, implants, there's more than one, uh, is affected your, your energy balance. Okay. So you'll get all sorts of things going wrong. In fact, I'll, I'll do a little, I'll do a, a two minute balance if that's okay. Chakra balance. So what you do is, you, in your mind's eye, just make, make your chakras energy go to the other one in a figure of eight, then another one and another one. So you can actually do this in your mind's eye as well. You've got the ability to. I'm picking up that the energy from the implants will actually go into you to where the problem was. Right, just balance. It takes time to go away, but I think uh, the residue from the implants has been. Critical. So is that is that what is hurting my shoulder? Is the implant? Is that what was hurting my shoulder? Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. affecting. It was affecting. It, everything. It, it wasn't fit. Because it was, correctly. In, it was all your. It was. It was affecting all the nerves. It wasn't put on right. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they didn't quite get it right. And don't forget your downloads with your uh, your higher self. Connect with your higher self. Okay. And, and uh, your mind's eye that can pick these up. You should you could use them. You've got an, a very good ability there. You want a card? You got an oracle card? Sorry. Sorry, I got so I think I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Oracle card. Mm, I'll take Oracle, yeah. Yeah, just say stop. Tell him when to stop. Stop. There you go. Spiritual growth. Now, what did I just say? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> what did I actually say a minute ago? Concentrate on your mind's eye, use it more, and then it's spiritual growth. So <laughs> the cards are telling you, that spirit will tell me, oh yeah. So it's, that's an excellent card, that is. So follow your art, stop, no fear. Yeah, fear can create blockages. You've got a problem here, problem there. Just let it go and try and heal yourself if you've ever got any problems and spiritual growth that's a great card that i want that card <laughs> but i've got okay. too much growth anyway <laughs> thank you appreciate it i wanted to pick a card in the plaque it'd be either blessings or spiritual growth so. 